of San Juan City. Dito ay pagpapatuloy ni Coach Randy Alcantara ang planong i-extend ang series na ito. But on the other hand, the Pampanga Giant Lanterns are eager to seal this series and write their own history. Rain or redeem, this is your MPBL North Division Finals. Yung aming journey papunta rito sa Division Finals, duma kami sa butas ng karayong. Nais ko rin sabihin kay Governor Delta, handang-handa kami at hindi kami atras. Will, stop, mid-range, yes! Jordan, over pass, Kalisan, the easiest two points of the night for Mike. Yung San Juan hindi pumunta rito yan para magpatalo. Pumunta dito yan para talunin tayo. So, kailangan natin paghandaan talaga. Marvin Taiwan, three-pointer, that's good. Off double cross, but Mazar inside, he misses, got his own board. Still no basket, Bahio, basket and one. The box on Pampanga, you have the number one rebounder in Bazi Bazaar. And then you have J.D. Bahio creeping from behind. Serrano spins, Ancho Serrano scores! Spider-Man 3! From the corner, it's Arvin Santos! Davey Bahio drives, Bahio hands and misses, but Bobby was there for the cleanup. Team number one belongs to the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. For just the first game in this series, it's only the beginning. For Coach Dennis Delta Pineda and Coach Randy Alcantara. It is another beautiful night for Philippine basketball as we give you your continuing coverage of the 2023 MPBL playoffs. And tonight, we are coming to you live from the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center, the home of the MPBL's second season champions, the San Juan Knights. But now, their backs are against the wall because they are fighting for survival as they try to advance to our national finals. It's good to see the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center jam back once more. The last time that we saw a crowd like this was last year when they were up against Nevaisia. But now it's JP Bahio who's coming off of a 14 point and 11 rebound performance. He was the best player in game number one of this series. He's going to go up against the franchise player of the San Juan Knights, Orlan Momar, who struggled from the field only 3 out of 15, but he did score 14 points with 7 assists. That guy was a missing link for the San Juan Knights. Ligo Panganiban had the worst plus minus, minus 14, only scoring two points in 16 minutes of play. Let's see if he can redeem himself as we have our storyline of Reign or Redeem. This is game number two of the North Division Finals between the Pampanga Giant Lanterns and the San Juan Knights. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Mix Gomez at your service, and I'm happy to be back with the one and the only Coach Louis Gonzalez. Coach Louis. I'm sure you've been watching this series. You watched game number one from the sideline. I'd like to get your thoughts about this matchup between Papanga and San Juan. Oh, it's always been nice to watch teams that, you know, napakalalim ng winning tradition. And uh, I think both teams right now represent that. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, both San Juan at uh, itong Pampanga. Alam naman natin kung yung mga backers nito, yung organization nito, alam mo yun, hindi basta-basta magpapatalo. Now, as important as this game is to everybody, we have two courtside reporters present for us. And why don't we find out who they are representing for tonight, beginning with Mika Abisamis. Mika, good evening. The Phil Oil Echo Oil may be home to the San Juan Knights, but this will not hinder the Pampanga Giant Lanterns to take home the division championship to Pampanga. Sabi nga ni Governor Delta Pineda, gustuhin man daw niya, nandun, nandoon tayo sa Brens Geo Convention Center, eh kahit saan na daw, basta mag-champions. Anyway, may dala naman daw siyang 11 buses of fans. Well, these Kapampangans have always been present all season long. And there's one thing for sure, Coach Louis, they're going to be loud tonight cheering for the squad here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Now, we also heard the voice of Sydney Crespo already as our teaser for today. So why don't we find out what she has in store for us? Sydney. 
Magandang gabi, Migs and Coach Louie at lahat ng ating mga kaliga. Uh, ako nga ay magre-report para sa San Juan Nights. No? Alam niyo kung maganda na magkasama kami ni Mika ngayong gabi. E nakikita namin ang maraming bagay dito sa ating game number 2 mula sa dugout hanggang dito sa loob ng court. Marami ako mga kwento tungkol kay Coach Randy at ilan sa ating mga key players from game 1. Abangan niyo yan mamaya. Alright, so it's Sydney Crespo for the San Juan Nights and Mika Abisamis for the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Now, Coach Louie Gonzalez will be breaking down our playoff bracket to see where we are in the 2023 MPBL playoffs. Coach, what's happening so far? Oh, okay, we're in the division finals already. Itong uh, Pampanga, alam mo, you swept all the way. Yung kanilang uh, matchups kay from the Northern Division, they swept itong uh, Marikina, then they, they swept also itong uh, Batang Kangkalo. Now, in San Juan naman, it's the same. Pero, you know, with San Juan, yung baon nila, mix maganda yung experience. Eh. Mm -hmm. They know how to win, especially at this stage of the tournament. Well, San Juan, after all, is a champion team already here in the MPBL. And even though they're going up against the toughest teams that we have, one might even argue that they've had the toughest road so far entering the North Division Finals. Let's see, though, if they can step up here in game number two against the team that you mentioned is still undefeated, the lone undefeated team in the 2023 MPBL playoffs. Now, from that undefeated team is a guy who stepped up in game number one, the lone Cebuano in the Galaxy of Stars of Pampanga, JB Bahio. Oh, oh, you know this this guy is a big time player. Guy, I played against him in the in the, in the, in the collegiate ranks. Pero you know, ito isa bang maganda kasi nangyari dito sa Pampanga na na-notice ko. Though may mga movements ng mga players, they were able to acquire key, key players. Alam mo yun, ang naging magandang effect noon, they just got better. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yun, yung chemistry na every game na pinapanood ko sila mix, nag improve lang sila as a team. And then right now, especially that performance in Game 1, Justin Baltasar scoring again a double-double. But not an easy fit. Okay, 20-20 yun. Hindi oh, yun magali. Yeah. Oh, oh. That was the 7-20-20 performance of Valdi Baltasar in the fifth season of the MPBL. And JB Bahio's emergence is basically why Luis Angalang is comfortable coming off the bench for coach Dennis Delta Pineda. On the other hand, a guy coming off the bench for San Juan is Marvin Taiwan. He stepped up big time in game number one. Uh oh, oh, alam mo yun, uh, it's, it's, it's Marvin, Marvin Taiwan being best, a superstar in his role. Pero sa akin niya, he did 20, talaga napakalaking tulong for San Juan. Pero this is, this is a bit concerning for the San Juan. Mm. Alam mo yun, kasi parang sa akin, yung match up mo with Pampanga, if you have Marvin Taiwan, and you know, you need to play Orlan Wamar if you're coach Randy, para bang mag masyado magiging dehado na kayo in terms of height eh. Okay. And uh, alam naman natin, ikakapitalize nitong Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Alright, so if if you're not uh, too satisfied with Marvin Taiwan stepping up for San Juan, but, but I'm sure you're you're a bit proud of him as well, no, for Coach Randy Alcantara, then who do you want to step up for the night in this game? Oh, oh sigo, it, it is Nico Panganiban. I want to see him perform. I, okay, far, far cry yung performance dito ni Nico nung uh, game one nila, pero Alam mo yun, nandun pa rin naman sila sa, ano eh, sa laban na yun eh. It's still close, uh, though itong Pampanga started very well. And after that, parang naging play ng catch-up na lang eh. Uh, that four points, hanggang matapos, ayun na, yung naging, ayun na yung naging resulta ng laro. So let's see, kung makaka-contribute ng mas marami itong si Nico Panganiban, baka maiba yung storya at magkaroon tayo ng Game 3. Well, I did ask Nico what happened to him in Game number 1. And he said, nanibago siya dahil nga naman may Balti Baltazar who's trying to contest his shot on the floor. So why don't you break down the rest of the numbers in game number one. Coach Louis, what stood out for you in that matchup? Oh, oh, alam mo yun, uh, itong, uh, yan, itong uh, Pampanga, defeated San Juan, 86 to 82. Pero ang, ang, ang mabigat dito is in the rebounding section, yung rebounding department, mal medyo malaki yung uh, lamang nitong uh, Pampanga and also the bench points. So, mm -hmm. Napakalaking, napakalaki if San Juan, we know that they're depleted already. Maraming players na inawala. Pero, you know, that's why you always uh, appreciate system. Yeah. The system is all, must all go for tonight para dito sa team ni Coach Randy Alcantara. And you mentioned rebounding. And you mentioned when they have Marvin Taiwan and Orla Nomar on the floor, lumiliit ang San Juan. Is that the main cause of the rebounding disparity? Oo naman. And uh, imagine, uh, just from out from two players, 34 rebounds already. Okay, 20 rebounds for Justin Baltasar, 14 rebounds naman para dito kay JB Bayo. So, that, this, so this is gonna be exciting mix. So let's see kung ano yung magiging adjustment nito ni Coach Randy Alcantara para masolusyonan yung kanyang problema in terms of the rebounding. The rebounding. Right, there you have it. Thank you so much for indulging us, Coach Louis Gonzalez, with your analysis. But now we are ready for game number two of the North Division Finals as we turn you over to Richard Tampos. 
our jam back action begins as we bring you the game two of the best of three in North Division Finals here at the Peel Oil Echo Oil Center. The Pampanga Giant Lanterns took 1-0 lead against your San Juan Knights. This is Manny Pacquiao's MPBL Season 5 presented by Extreme. Let's meet the starting lineups first. The Pampanga Giant Lanterns AMG3 Construction. At guard number two, Archie Concepcion. Power forward number seven, JB Bahio. Guard number 11, MJ Garcia. Coming three, MPBL All Star, three point champion, Orlan Wamar Jr. San Juan Knights is led by the team owner, Honorable Senator Jingoy Estrada, assisted by Randy Alcantara, with John Garcia and Nani Bondulan. Coaching consultant is the original Tapal King, Philip Cesar, team manager, Jun Usman, co team owner, Jeremy Go. Presenting the starters for game number two of the North Division Finals. We have MJ Garcia, Archie Concepcion, Justin Baltazar, Jamie Bahio, and Arvin Santos for Campanga. And then we have the original five for Coach Randy, Orlan Mamar, Nico Panganiban, Zach Wang, Adrian Dokum, and Michael Kalisan. Remember, in game number one, it was Joseph Ubalde who started the game for Coach Randy ahead of Adrian Dokum. But now, this was the lineup, Coach Louis, that they used against Nevaisia and against Makati, I suppose, and that proved a lot of success for them. Do you think this is a good move by Coach Randy? Oh, okay, I think uh, Coach Randy Starkey, right from the get-go, wanted to set that uh, pace already. Uh, he knows that uh, if he will play itong uh, Pampanga Giant Lantern sa half-court mix, baka mag meron silang, magkakaroon sila ng malaking problema. Right now, it's J.B. Bahio attacking. No basket, man down. That's a foul on Balti Baltazar. And you know it's gonna happen, you know. Uh, talagang ang in order for you to stop a player like Justin Baltasar, you, anywhere in the court, you need to put a body on him, Mix. And imagine if San Juan can actually bring Balti into foul trouble for this game. Exactly, and uh, siguro, ayun yung pinakamalaking wish mo if oh, yes. you are San Juan. To establish this game, thank you everybody for watching. This is game number two of the North Division Finals. San Juan is fighting for survival. Pampanga is looking to advance to the national championship. Orlan Mamar with the first basket of San Juan. Oh, oh and uh, you know, ito yung sigurado na para makikita ko adjustment knowing Coach Randy Alcantara. Kung sino yung mga player na gusto niyang matanggal sa laro, ayun yung aatakihin niya. Marvin Santos. Contested well by Nico Panganiban. And here's Adrian Nokum. Nokum drives. Nokum misses. Offensive rebound. Kalisan with a putback. Oh, what a start for San Juan. That is in the natin eh. The system is in place already. Now, if all system, alam mo mag go go talaga, mahirap kalaban sila. Especially if you if you have their crowd with them right now here in the in a, in a jam pack San Juan Arena. Again, the last time that we saw a crowd like this here in the Philo Echo Oil Center, it was exactly last year, Game 2 of the North Division Finals between San Juan and our eventual champion, to never see a rice vanguards. The crowd is also interacting with each other as we have some Kapampangans present in San Juan. Hindi naman magpapatalo ang San Juan Enos. Oh, oh. Balti for three. No bounce. Rebound, Nokum. In this series, it's also been talked about that in terms of the bigs, it's advantage Pampanga. But in terms of the guards, it's advantage San Juan. Oh, oh totoo yan. Uh, on point ka there, uh, Migs. Kasi hindi mo talaga pe pwede i-set up. Okay. Sa tingin ko, kitignan natin kung sa lahat ng mga scramble situations, if itong San Juan will attack itong uh, Pampanga right away. Here's Archie, Concepcion down the middle, Archie misses, rebound, MJ Garcia, he lost the ball, numbers for San Juan, Panganiban on the move, Panganiban, all the way! And as expected, ramdam mo na agad yung pagkakaiba, kay Pampanga started strong, 
in game one, etong San Juan, playing in their home court. Parang sobrang grabbing energy. Arvin Santos in trouble. Almost a turnover. Seven on the shot clock. Lamar with the block. Recovery. Lamar gets the ball. Orlan surveys. Orlan passes. And there's a foul. Wow, it's that loud that we can't even hear the whistle on the court. Exactly. Let's see what happened. This is the guy that you've been wanting to step up. Nico uh -oh. Pangriban. So, Nico knows. Uh, kasi sa akin naniniwala naman ako. Alam ng player kung ano yung responsibility niya. Missed by Zach Wong. Rebound Pampanga. Here's Archie Concepcion. Archie hangs and misses. Pampanga remains scoreless here. Oo. Uh -oh. Almost three minutes gone by. Panganiban. That's too strong. Back and forth we go. And if, if you're San Juan, you know, you're going to give that to Nico because, you know, if if he gets his confidence back, ang laki nang may tutulong nito. There's two points now for Pampanga, courtesy of MJ Garcia. It's 7-2. to two. Orlan calling for horns. There's Zach Wang. He goes shooting now to 50%. And that should be reversed in favor of San Juan. Uh -oh. And, you know, only three minutes, only past three minutes in this game. You can tell already kung yung grabe yung bilis nitong game na to. Ang dami ng possessions ng parehong pupunan. Zach Wong just scored. It's now 9-2. to two. Concepcion to Garcia. Down low. Was that a turnover? It's out of bounds in favor of Pampanga. As John Luis Clemente now checks in. And you, you're gonna like, uh, yeah, let's see this uh, shot by uh, Sak Wang first. At your point, Coach Lou, you're gonna like? You're gonna like what he's done Michael Kalisa and working on Balti Baltasar. Because uh, important talaga is you push Justin to his comfort zone. Eh. But now, let's turn you over to Cindy Crespo for her report about San Juan. Matapos ng ilang palakpak sa loob ng dugout, ang unang tanong ni Coach Andy Alcantara, ano, kaya pa ba? Kaya pa ba natin? Simpleng tanong, simpleng sagot, siguradong San Juan Knights na meron pang natitirang laban sa kanila. We can't deny the hardships that they had to overcome starting from Makati to the defending champions. Ika nga ni Coach Randy, body language will dictate their game. Mapa semi-finals o division finals, man. For them, they are the, the underdogs in this series. Kaya kahit na si Orlan Mamar na punong-puno ng tapang sa playoffs, napangiti na lang pag pinag-uusapan ng depensa ng Pampanga. Halo-halo raw ang nararamdaman ni Orlan ngayon. Haba at excited pero kailangan maging sharp sa sistema ni Coach Randy. Tignan natin paano niya sisimulan ang gabing ito. Mix and Coach Louie. That's a nice report. Thank you, Sidney. You gotta love the tone of Coach Randy Alcantara, which I know you're very familiar with. Sometimes you have to go that tough love route. Uh -oh, it just shows Mix yung experience ni uh, Coach Randy Alcantara being in this situation so many times already. He knows na yung pressure is not with them anymore. It's with the other team, itong Pampanga. And uh, again, the hardest game to play is the close is you're gonna close out our opponent. Now, Coach Louis, we have your keys to victory for the Giant Lanterns. Oh, uh, Starlight, Star Bright. You know, okay, Starlight, if Justin Baltasar will alam mo yung ulitin niya yung kanyang performance, JB Bayo, Arvin Santos with this efficiency, okay, everything. If they light it up, okay, everything will be bright for the Giant Pampanga, for the Giant Lanterns. The killer's instinct. And again, dapat alam nitong Pampanga, going to this game, hindi magiging madali because you know, you're going up against a team whose backs are against the wall. So they're gonna come out strong and they're gonna, gonna give it all. So start strong, finish stronger. But at the moment, yung iniisip natin nung nangyari nung game one, uh, mix, iba eh. It is now San Juan who started, who start, who start strong, start, started strong. Pero let's see if Pampanga later on will finish stronger. That's right. To your point, Coach Louis, in the first five minutes of game number one, it was 13-2 to two in favor of Pampanga. This is complete reversal of fortunes happening in front of us as Archie Concepcion is fouled. And now, as everybody calms down, <laughs> why don't you break down your keys to victory for San Juan? Oh, oh, pace and tempo, and exactly just what the doctor said. Itong nagyayari sa start ng ating game. Ang daming possession, ang daming attacks sa scramble. All shots are being challenged. It's quick. Okay, ito yung maganda yung ginagawa ng San Juan. Battle of the boards. Ito yung, kailang, ito yung sinasabi na natin, kailangan masolusyon nila ng problema. And uh, if the, itong front line, though depleted, kung lalaban ba talaga, and make it rain. Okay, yung three-pointer 
alam natin, malaking weapon riyan ng San Juan Knights. So let's see, playing in their home court, we're in their more comfortable. Tingnan natin mamaya yan, Migs. Archie just converted from the line. It's now 10 to 4, with 4 minutes and change gone by in the opening quarter. Nico Panganiban is matched up against Archie Concepcion. Panganiban, no handoff there to Orland. They go to Michael. Kalisaan drives. Reverse. No good. Rebound, Balti. Uh -huh. You know, he needs to be careful with in terms of conserving yung energy niya. San ba mas kailangan ngayon si Michael? I think, I think mas kailangan siya sa depensa. Kasi he know, we know that Balti is bigger than him, pero he has a better foot speed versus Balti. And remember, in game number one, it was Joseph Obalde covering Balti Baltazar. Michael kind of had a, an off day in terms of the time with Balti, but uh -huh. now it's Wamar scoring for San Juan. Luis Angalang, nice great. defense by Zach Wong. Oh, great defense there by Zach Wong. Steal, numbers for San Juan. Wamar is fouled. Again, I think if San Juan can do this all throughout this game, mix, they will have a big chance. Not wait for the front line to recover already. Attack if they are numbers. More than Wamar. In game number one, we mentioned only shot the ball at a 20% clip, 3 out of 15. He was really challenged by the defense of Pampanga. Well, that's also because of the respect that he has garnered. Now as the franchise player at San Juan, as the street throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. Oh, oh. And uh, right now, it's scramble. Talagang, that's what they need. And uh, with Pampanga right now, shooting at 1 uh, okay, of 11. In this, uh, in this game, alam mo yun, natatakawan sila and uh, kailangan pa rin, nandun pa rin yung discipline eh. Lamar converts, 7 points now for him. That's half of the total of San Juan so far. 14 to 4. Enzo Serrano. He's come off the bench alongside Luis Sangalang and John Lloyd Clemente to join Balti Baltazar and Archie Concepcion. There's a foul called on Nico Panganiban. So, ito na, papa, 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 papasok na tayo dito sa crucial part nitong uh, San Juan Knights. When Coach Randy starts rotating, guys. Mm -hmm. Kung mamaintain ba nila yung ganong kataas na energy. How about some uh, legends present today in the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center? Coach Louie, you want to give a shout-out to them? Oh, naman. Alam mo, sa akin, ito, former San Juan Knights, itong si uh, Co Jer Coach. Na, well, mga coaches na ngayon yan, eh. Si Coach Jerome Eher, si Coach John Ferriols. Okay, plus ang ating uh, giant na si EJ Pyle. Yeah. So apparently the foul was on Jeff Tahonera, if I'm not mistaken. Tahonera, by the way, missed game number one because of a suspension. Glad to have him back. Lemente with a great escape. A uh, great recognition there by JLC. Uh, recognizing na yung binibigay sa kanya na turn ni uh, Orlan Wamar was the turn to baseline. The ball went out of bounds on the other end. Bear with us, by the way, if you're catching us on our live streams and on television because it's so loud here inside the San Juan Arena. Again, you can't even hear the whistles by our referees. Tamayan. Governor Coach Dennis Delta Pineda and Pampanga looking to be the first team to qualify in our national final series. They're undefeated here in our playoffs. The only team that hasn't lost the game. On the other hand, there's Senator Jingo Estrada. He already has tasted a championship back in season two. But, but that was long ago already. It's like half a decade ago, as now there's a challenge on the floor. You know. <clears throat> and uh, sa tingin ko kasi mas importante right now kay na uh, Congressman uh, Don Gonzalez and uh, kilam lahat talaga nandito na oh, support yeah, eh. for sure again uh, this is history in the making for the giant lanterns you know they, they they work so hard for this being here alam mo yun talagang uh, sigurado ako if I'm uh, coach uh, Delta Pineda talagang gusto ko lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa akin sama-sama na tayo dito yes well in terms of supporters of Pampanga why don't we give some shout outs to them Senior Deputy Speaker Congressman Don Gonzalez, team owner manager AG Gonzalez, city councilor Benz Gonzalez, 
senior board member Mika Gonzalez, Mayor Dean Gonzalez of Mexico. Upon Vice review, the challenge made by Pampanga was successful. Board member Pampanga. Marlene Pineda, Mayor Philip Nagate of Minalin Pampanga in athletic sports and battle. The challenge was successful for Pampanga. It's going to be the Giant Lanterns with possession here. Yeah, you know, uh, before this one, they are so sure about this, but nakakahinayang lang talaga na first quarter pa lang, no wala na challenge mo. That's right, you only have one challenge. Oo. Oh, oh. Nakip mo yung timeout mo, pero sayang, no wala naman yung challenge mo. Let's see if that will backfire later on for oh, Pampanga. Oh. It's 14-6, to 6, Serrano. Pass to the wrong guy, Adrian Nocum. Staying patient, going to Orland, the three-point king. That short rebound, put back, still no good. Zach Wang, pass to Nico, Panganiban, in and out. And now the ball is with Pampanga. Again, transition defense important for the San Juan Knights. JLC, on to Enzo Serrano. The usual two-man game happening right now for Pampanga. Pick and pop, Baltazar straight away. That short. Ah, you're gonna leave that for that. Kala mo yung Justin Baltasar will show you shoot all those three pointers. You know you're gonna solve that those problems. Now that guy should be one of the last guys that you would want to leave wide open. Specialty of the house for Jeff Tahunera. Unfortunately, there seemed to have been a foul after his conversion. Oh, oh you know, ang hirap din kasi sa buhay ni Jeff dati dito sa atin sa MPBL. Marcado na eh. Yes. Diba? And, uh, and sa akin naman kasi, a player like that, like uh, Tahonera, will help you. Pero that's where he gets motivation as well. Jeff Tahonera is the ultimate veteran of the San Juan Knights. It's our kindest way of saying that he's the oldest player wearing red today. And then again, you know how important he has been as one of the champions of Coach Randy Alcantara. It's oh. only three of them remaining. Wamar, Tahonera, and Ubalde. Oh, oh. and uh, you know, Yung responsibility din ng tatlong yan sigurado ako na to share kung paano ba yung organization itong San Juan Knights na to na if you have those, madali nakaka-adapt yung mga players. You can just imagine how hard it was for him to watch game number one in his home because he wasn't allowed to be on the court. Oo. Oh, oh. Especially na alam mo na yung position mo kailangan-kailangan yeah. ng team mo. At the, at the moment sa akin, they really lack big men itong uh, San Juan Knights. We have a timeout. The score is 17 to 6. MJ Garcia, he lost the ball. Numbers for San Juan. Panganiban on the move. Panganiban all the way. This move of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. Phil Oil, Echo Oil for your Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Hindi San Juan ang tipo ng team na kayang makontrol the whole game, sabi ni Gov Delta Pineda. So their time may be now at the start of the game, but theirs could be later sa mga importanteng quarters. Coach Humper Dick Di Matulak reminded the boys na kayo ang mas malalaki. Huwag niyong kalimutan yon. Mas gusto nga daw nila dahil mas nahahasa ang mga bata pag ganitong medyo lamang ang kalaban. Napapagod daw ang kalaban habang sila naman ay marami pang materyales na pwedeng hataken. And in case they do win, I asked Governor Delta, Gov, less ba yung happiness mo kung dito kayo mag-North Champions? He actually paused for a bit and thought about it. But in the end, he said, oo naman, ayoko na humingi ng karagdagan pa. Migs, Coach Louis. Well, of course, you'd want to avoid more problems for your team. 
But now, the problems are piling up for Pampanga. Three-point shooting, that's one of your keys to the game. It's not working for San Juan. Oh, oh I, I mean, maintaining that pace. You don't want everything to be set. Because if you set it up, okay, offensively and defensively, that goes, the favor goes to P P Pampanga Giant Lantern. Here's the first three-pointer in the back-to-back. -back. Nico Panganiban, the guy that you have been wanting to step up. Boy, has he risen from his ashes in that game number one. And then it's Marvin Taiwan staying consistent off the bench. Ngayon, hindi niya kasabay si Orlan. Pinalitan niya si Orlan Mamar. Oo, saktong-sakto yung uh, that, the luxury na binibigay nitong mga players right now. Koy Coach Randy na maka makapunta siya doon sa winning formula ng players' rotation niya. We have a timeout. It's a 17-point lead for San Juan. Panganiban drives, Panganiban scores! Or that straight away, three-pointer. Sa mga taga San Juan, patuloy na lumalaban ang inyong uh, San Juan Knights sa uh, North Division Finals ngayong 2023 in PBL Playoffs. Suportahan po natin sila sa kanilang uh, kampanya para makuha uli ang NBBL Championship. Salamat sa patuloy na pagsubaybay sa NBBL, ang liga ng bawat tila. Maraming maraming salamat. Orlan Momar drives. Orlan Momar will score! What a start it has been here in game number two for the Sun One Knights. They're up by 17 points with under three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Field goal shooting not in Coach Louis. Uh -oh. 14 to 47. Uh -oh. 2 out of 14 for the Giant Lanterns. 8 out of 17 naman for the Sun One Knights. You know, itong Pampanga naman nakakakuha sila ng tira. Pero again, they can get better shot, more decent shot uh, compared to sa tinitake nila nung itong uh, first quarter. By the way, there you go. The three-point shooting is now at four out of eight for San Juan, 50% as Encho misses inside. Rebound, Sangalang, and there's the cleanup. Oh, oh. And, uh, you know, itong uh, insertion uh, ni uh, Binuya. So let's see if uh, can put order para dito sa offense nitong uh, Pampanga Giant Lantern. Binuya is one of the leaders now for Coach Dennis Bineda. As Taiwan misses, great aggressiveness by Panganiban, but he couldn't get the ball. Tavnera, though, got the steal. They go to Nico at the corner. Panganiban for three. Bombs away. And, uh, you know, napaka-importante na mga ganito. Itong uh, si Binuya will play a very important role for this. Kasi, you know, mix. Halos lahat nitong puntos nitong San Juan galing sa mga alanganin na miss baskets nitong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns were in okay, when Pampanga misses right away kinakapitalize agad nila sa transition. Eh sinasabi mo tempo. Oo. Oh, okay oh. i-control ng San Juan. But Nico Panganiban, Coach Louis, he has answered to the call of everybody in this game. Oh, now he's delivering. Their te his team is up. Diba? And uh, talagang ang laki. Uh, kinuha natin yung kanyang uh, statistics nung, uh, itong buong uh, playoff. Uh, okay, from the first round to second round. And he's mal malaki yung contribution talaga ni uh, Nico Panganiban. By the way, I hope as now it's Mac Macardona on your screen, a champion as well with San Juan back in Season 2. I hope everybody understands the beauty of home court advantage. Much like last night, Bakoor shot the ball lights out on their home floor. Oh, okay. For Beautiful basketball played by the strikers last night. Alam mo yun, parang uh, from the get-go, hindi na parang pinaporma yung uh, Batangas Embassy Chile. Clemente just scored for Pampanga. They're down by 16. Marvin Taiwan against Binuya. Taiwan goes to Kalisaan. He fakes. Backdoor. No pass there. Kalisaan with a jumper. Oh, oh okay. The patience. Alam mo yun, they, they're, now they're up by 18 big points. So, that's the first quarter pa lang tayo, uh, mix. And we still have a minute and 15 to go. Clemente misses. Rebound Panganiban. Nico will drive against Balti. 
He stays patient. Panganiba needs a teammate. There's Ubalde. Pass inside. Oh. Balti on the run. No foul there. Sangalang feeds. And that's an easy two for JLC. Alam mo yun, ito yung mga uh, may madadaling puntos para sa first quarter for the Giant Lanterns. 28 to 12 now. 43 seconds remaining in the first. Nico Panganiban, mismatch. Panganiban, Ubalde, that's a shot. In and out though. 30 seconds. Serrano, switch. Encho going to Balti. 11 on the shot clock. Baltazar, nice steal by AC. Numbers for San Juan. So Berrano all the way. That's a wedgie. Lucky break there for the San Juan Knight. And they keep possession. So in terms of sequences like that, as we first take a look at this fast break opportunity for Pampanga. When there's a wedgie, Coach Louis, when the ball gets stuck on the rim, jump ball. Jump ball, yeah. No, oh, and the possession pointing to San Juan Knights. So, tamang tama eh. Pati yung shot, talagang they can take the last shot eh. Even yung 0.8 seconds, ano lang, difference lang sa ating game clock and shot clock. Elisaan goes to Omar. Orlan, does he know about the time? He seems to be taking his time. Orlan, four seconds. Wamar drives. Wamar with a leaner. There was a foul. Again, uh, isa mga ganyang situa situation talaga. Etong San Juan knows where to put that basketball. Kung kaninong kamay. And, uh, and Orlan Wamar, alam mo, master talaga yan ang mga ganyan eh. Clutch. Oh, he's come a long way. We always say it on air. Back in season two when they were the champions, he wasn't even getting minutes. He was the third string point guard for Coach Randy Alcantara. But with him staying through to Senator Jingo Estrada, who again is being stressed with the free throws of San Juan, Orlan Lamar has now transformed himself into being the franchise player of the San Juan Knights. He might actually be a good example for other MPBL players to see as a role model. They might be establishing themselves as well as franchise players of other teams in the league. Oh, oh. and uh, you know, yung, yung, sit, yung uh, experience ni Orlan one Wamar, yung life-changing three-pointer na yun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now he's the three-point king. He's the, now he's the three-point king, and he's one of the best, okay, especially in that position here in the MPBL. Enzo Serrano from half-court. No good, and that will do it for our high octane. First quarter inside the Phil Oil, Echo Oil Arena. San Juan just shooting the ball. Lights out here in the opening frame. Oh, you're gonna appreciate the offense, pero you're gonna appreciate also the way they limit itong giant dancers to just 12 first quarter points. There you see the hustle provided by not only Mike and Kalisan, Nico Panganiban, but everybody wearing red just coming alive here as they fight for survival. Game number three, if forced by San Juan, will happen this coming Saturday inside the Brent Ziggyao Convention Center. But boy, would you say that Nico Panganiban was the absolute story of the first frame? Totoo yan, and uh, he is just come up. Alam mo yun, talaga alam mo, lalabas at lalabas itong ganitong classing player. Panganiban was an all-star last year for the Jensen Warriors. He struggled all season long, transitioning into being a role player for San Juan. But here he is coming alive as they try to redeem themselves in game number two. We'll be back for the second quarter. Bounces to Balti, and that's the first Balti slam in the semifinals. Going to MJ, Garcia will fly! Up, up, and away. 
Sa lahat ng aking mga kababayan, mga kabalin, inibitahan ko po kayo na patuloy na suportahan ang inyong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns sa kanilang paglaban sa North Division Finals dito sa 2023 MPBL Playoffs. Salamat po sa patuloy na pagtangkilik sa MPBL ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Maraming maraming salamat po. As MJ drives, there's the kick out. Santos for three. Yes, sir. Up right now, and uh, if Michael Kalisan will wear that defensive, uh, alam mo yun, uh, yung di depensa na lang siya. Sa tingin ko para sa larong ito will help his team more than isipin niya pa na let the other score. Pero siya magconcentrate na siya, magconcentrate na lang siya stopping itong si Justin Baltasar. That's a good reminder because Michael Kalisan did come off a 30-point performance in game number two versus the Nevesia Rice Vanguards. Right now, he's off to a good start. Same goes for the rest of the Knights. As you thank you for joining us, this is Mix Gomez alongside Coach Louis Gonzalez, Mika Abisamis, and Sidney Crespo. Oh, look at the first quarter field goal. Itong Pampanga shooting at 23% compared to the 45% nitong uh, San Juan Knights. And, uh, Reason to this uh, makes is fast break points. Mm -hmm. Alam mo, they're, they're defending well, forcing turnovers. Tapos nun, hindi na nila sineset right away, inaatake na agad nila. In terms of fast break scoring, San Juan has 13 in this game. They only had 17 in the whole of game number one. 17-point advantage. Here's Alan Liwag going to Arwin Santos against E.G. Boy Mojica. Arwin hands it off. Archie Concepcion. Uh -huh. You know, this group of uh, itong combination ni uh, Coach uh, Randy Alcantara can be a switch-all group. Pero if you talk about quickness and uh, quickness, hindi ito singbilis nung nag-start na grupo. Let's see what they can do with this dynamic as Alan Liwag just scored for Pampanga. Alan Liwag is one of the exceptions in terms of non-Kapampangans in this roster of the Giant Lanterns. He is from Cavite after all. Soberano for three. Off to the right. This is a long game. Oh, oh. A lot of time for Pampanga to try to pull off a comeback. But for sure, someone has something to say about that. Almost a steal. Out of bounds in favor of the white shirts. Uh oh, you know, quick rotations, alam mo yan, standing your D, standing oh, your ground versus the uh, etong, uh, Pampanga Oslo. This is what San Juan should do in the in, ta, in this entire game. At maganda dito kahit sino, kahit sino player sa kanila ganun dapat yung magiging mentalidad. Again, force turnover again. Mojica to try to capitalize, he scores. E.G. Boy Moika actually was in foul trouble for game number one. This is a bit of a retribution game for him as well. Steel story, 8-1. to one. That basket will count for Archie. And you know, those eight steals uh, makes sa akin, uh, credit to the defense of uh, San Juan because pinaghirapan mo yung mga steals na yun. Eh. Mm -hmm. That's good, it's good for Archie Concepcion. Well, sabi nga ni Sidney sa atin, the words of Coach Rand, yeah, ano pa, patalo na ba tayo? Ano, ano pang kaya natin pakita? And here they are, showing up big, as Archie Concepcion also showed up big in that previous possession. The reigning homegrown player of the year. Recently got drafted, by the way, congratulations to him. And now he will be tested at the line, as Adrian Dombo also got drafted. And now check in for William Bing. Uh oh, and you know, these guys, you know, they wanted to leave a good mark before they uh, go pro. Alam mo yun, matulungan yung mga kukunan na tumulong sa mga pangarap nila. The professional dreams actually have been halted because they have a bigger responsibility as of now trying oh. to get their team a championship. <laughs> Sakin yung, they need to return that favor. Marvin Taiwan against Neil Tolentino. Switch. Marwin goes to Mojica. He has that shot. Top of the key. Three-pointer. That's three-pointer number six out of 13 tries for San Juan in this game. Oh, oh and uh, again, you need to make itong, mga, itong front line ng uh, Pampanga to get out the ng comfort zones nila, not just sitting there to the key. Diba? Now, as we take a look at this replay, it's E.G. Boy Mojica. 
challenging the defense of Marlon Santos. Bit of a late closeout there by the Spider-Man. And Moika salutes to the crowd. Now let's also salute our courtside reporter, Sidney Crespo, who has a report for us. Inamin ni Eiji Boy na nahirapan siya nung game 1 sa kanyang role bilang big man to compensate sa height difference. Eh dinaan daw niya halos lahat sa talon. Sabi nga niya, hindi umaabot yung depensa eh, at bumabagsak sa braso ng Pampanga. This is how he described his shortcomings last Saturday. Pero hindi naman doon natatapos ang lahat para kay Eiji Boy. In fact, he was still feeling a little bit of pain in his left knee nang natinamaan versus Nueva Ecija. Tonight, masarap daw sa feeling para kay Eiji Boy to reach this stage once again. Pero kailangan niya ng adjustments Upisahan daw niya sa proper box out. Your thoughts, gentlemen? Well, of course, if you're Ichi Boy Moika, you have that luxury of being an athletic guy. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, basic should be first and foremost for you. Turnover story, 9-1, to one, Moika. This uh, is... Yeah, 9-1, to one, okay, points of turnovers. Alam mo, forcing a lot of turno turnovers. And you know, ang pinaka-importante is converting it into points. Ito ang ginagawa ng uh, San Juan Knights. Now, uh, talking about uh, yung report ni Sid, yeah, that's kasi ganun madalas ang ginagawa talaga ng mga players. When the going gets tough, ang importante is bumalik ka dun sa fundamentals. Right. That quote is only one half. When the going gets tough, the you... tough gets going, right? Oh, and, uh, and the solution there, and usually, ang talagang remedy dun is you go back to the basic and fundamentals of the game. Wow. Alam mo yun, yung kung paano bumak, out pa ng, ng proper, kung paano sumali, ganun, ganun ang ginagawa ng mga. Right now, it's Arvin Santos showing us his replay of uh, the fundamentals being exhibited by himself. And then on the other hand, it's Marvin Taiwan who got fouled. Taiwan played his best game of the season in game number one, scoring 20, 5 out of 11 from the field. But you mentioned, Coach Louis, if Marvin Taiwan is the top scorer for San Juan, it might be a bit concerning for Coach Randy. Oh, because oh, he, 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 he's being forced na mag two guard na imagsabay kasi you know he knows that he needs to utilize uh, Orlan Wamara as well. And that they give up a lot of height disadvantage pag nagsabay talaga yung dalawa. Ngayon, what you have been wanting to happen is happening for Coach Andy Alcantara with Wamar replacing Taiwan and vice versa. Oh, oh you know, uh, right from the pregame, we talk about this mix. All system must go. And the way it's going right now, mukhang lahat talaga nasa naka green light para sa team niya, Coach Randy Alcantara. Green light as well for Arwin who misfires. Ball out of bounds in favor of San Juan. Arvin Santos, by the way, also came alive in game number one, making two three-pointers and scoring eight points. And you know, uh, one thing that's no, uh, very obvious right now with the uh, Giant Lanterns is parang yung fire within them, yung fight within them, okay, like nung game one, because of etong San Juan started the game so strong, parang medyo bumaba yung spirit nila eh. Now this I ask you, because Pampanga is currently undefeated, in the playoffs. Do you think this is actually a good wake-up call for them? At maganda nangyari na ngayon pa lang kesa naman sa Game 3 pa or di kaya sa, sa finals? Oo. Oh, oh. And uh, you know the biggest difference? Because yung they were able to sweep yung kanilang uh, series pero hin, wala silang nakalaban na naglaro sa home court. That's right. Tama yun. Either home court nila or neutral territory. Oh. oh. Jay Garcia just scored for Pampanga. And that leads us on to a TV timeout here in the second quarter for game number two. The score reads 38 to 23. MJ just pulling out the fight in him. Let's see what other responses we can see from the side of the white shirts. We'll be back. Balti on the run, no foul there, Sangalang feeds, and that's an easy two for JLC. This assist of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming.
una natalo kami sa ano uh, height kasi briba so tapos uh, parang dami rin ng turnovers yung performance ko parang parang hindi complete so sasabi ko parang hindi ko na dala yung team uh, so pero kaya hindi to babawi But Louis, break it down to us. The shot chart of Orlando Momar in game number one. Oh, oh you know, the, he, he shot 3 out of 15, which is an unusual, and 3 out of 10. Dito sa kanilang uh, beyond the arc. And uh, hindi yun yung usual numbers ni uh, Orlan. Kasi uh, as a veteran and as intelligent player, you know, his shot selection niya napakaganda. Eh. And uh, he knows na kung ano yung pagkukulang. And uh, I think... As an experienced and a leader of this San Juan team, nice he was able or he, he already also spoke with some mga ibang players. Mm -hmm. And I think he was already, na-inspire niya rin naman siguro si Nico Panganiban. Well, this is his usual numbers. Yeah. He doesn't shoot the ball too much. He's usually efficient. Two out of three, eight points, two assists. More importantly, timely in baskets niya. Oh, oh. You know, this guy, at the end of the game, will score 16. Pero buong laro, nakaskatter yung 16 points na Yes, game. yes. I did mention, some of those have come in the clutch already for Orlando in these playoffs. Oh, you covered that game. The game that reached double overtime at midnight. Oh. Versus Bakati as Garcia scores inside. 38-25 now. Five and a half minutes remaining before halftime. MJ oh. has six. Medyo nag-slow down yung game na itong uh, second quarter for the San Juan Knights. And again, it will favor. So, mahirap talaga. Kasi if they slow down, it will favor the Giant Lantern. And that's a turnover. Good hands by Balti. Forward pass to MJ. Garcia stops and pops. That's good for MJ. Yeah, MJ Garcia. Six straight points. Alam mo yun, uh, it's not Balti, it's not JB Bios. We're missing JB Bios, but ito yung mga kailangan nila. Contribution galing sa bench nila. This is what happened off of the missed free throw by MJ Garcia. Napaganda pa ang sitwasyon para sa Pampanga. And then, on the fast break opportunity, MJ pulling up against the outstretched arms of Jeff Tahonera. It's only an 11-point game. Let's see if Pampanga can pull off a comeback. A uh, bit of a retribution game for him as well. That basketball count for Archie. This move of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. Back inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in the city of San Juan, this is the home of the MPBL second season champions. A couple of celebrities present with us at the sideline, some former San Juan players as well. And so we thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez alongside Coach Louis Gonzalez with Sidney Crespo and Mika Abisamis. You mentioned the emergence of MJ Garcia. That's a good sign for Pampanga, especially as we know the facts of... Uh, Andrew Serrano and Justin Baltazar both being scoreless so far in this game. Because it's a good thing to solution to this problem. Eh. If your scorers are not going, you know, you need to maximize your defenders. Because they change the tempo. Eh. Now, Pampanga has the ball. Six minutes to go. Let's see if they can get the ball. Now, Pampanga has come alive in the second quarter. The lead is in single digits. Three-pointer for Nico. Enzo Serrano could not answer back. Rebound to Pampanga. Serrano, yes. And uh, they just, itong Pampanga, if they wanted to get back in this game. Alam mo yun, yung may hirap na tira, na may miss nila, pero again, that's, that's good. Yung ginawa ni Enzo na hindi siya tumigil. 
uh, kumuha siya ng second chance opportunity, sinipagan niya, nakakuha siya ng offensive rebound, yun, nakabasket na siya. Here's Nopo, baseline drive, one more feed, panganiban, four on the shot clock, Nico, that short, rebound Liwag, Pampanga's on the run. And there's a foul given up by Adrian Nopo. Oh, uh, and uh, imagine, oh, it's fast, it's up-tempo, pero yung foul situation natin, halos hindi, walang, hindi walang stoppage halos eh. This three-point shot is brought to you by Extreme One-Stop Shop Appliances. Nico Panganiban only scored two points. He was one out of four in game number one, and he had the worst plus-minus, a minus 14 for him. But in this game, in 12 minutes of play, he already has 11 to his name. Oh, oh. and not just that. Alam mo yun, yung, uh, yung, de yung defense nila mas buong buo. Uh, meron siyang assist, meron siyang steal. So, Kompleto na yung performance eh. Oh, Balti Batazar. What a way for him to score his first two points. A lead down to eight. Renzo Subido. First appearance in game number two. Almost a steal. No call there on the backcourt. Panganiban is open. Serrano just left him. Rebound Balti off of the miss. Andrew Serrano, two-man game, going to Balti, Baltazar, oh, that's, that's a charge. Oh, it's actually a technical foul on the flop by Michael Lisan. Yeah, okay, that's a 50-50 call, and it's really hard. Alam mo yun, to decide on the referee's part. Alam mo, hindi mo talaga alam eh. Senator Jingoy Estrada not looking too happy as he talks. To coach Philip Cesar. So that would be Michael Isan's second foul uh -huh. in this game. And uh, okay, the technical free throw will be given para dito sa Pampanga Giant Lander. We did mention it's 50 50, and it happens a lot in this league. Uh, Mahirap din ang trabaho ng referees natin to decide if, if it is a charge or if it is a char if, if it is a flop by our players. Oo. Oh, at medyo mahirap din sa trabaho natin right now dahil sa dami ng tao, hindi natin marinig na yung feet, yung whistle eh. <laughs> <laughs> Magkita na lang natin, tumitigil na yung players on the court. Yeah. But more importantly for Pampanga, the lead is down to seven. The three minutes and change to go before halftime. Balti against the Honera. Bounce pass. Batted inside, it ends up with Balti, one-hander, he gets the Fair bounce. Enough. And you know, uh, it's a last lead, not just in this possession, it's the second chance opportunity, okay, that's keeping uh, itong uh, giant lanterns na makabalik sa larong ito. Second chance scoring now at 14-3 to in favor of Pampanga. Oh, oh. It's a 7-0 run, the lead is 5, no come crosses. Two on the shot clock. Nico has to fire. Panganiban will lose time. And the Kapampangans are well alive here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. And if you go, gonna, gonna come look at it, those advanced statistics. Ito yung mga ganitong sitwasyon. Second chance opportunity. A point by Justin Baltasar. Doon din ang nagpumpisa yung puntos ni Encho Serrano. Si MJ Garcia, doon din nakakuha ng mga puntos. Look at the crowd of this giant planter. 41-36. Under two and a half minutes in the second. MJ Garcia. He needs a teammate. There's Balti. Up top, it's Encho. Serrano, the pull-up. No good, ball out of bounds in favor of Pampanga. Again. And uh, you know, at uh, maganda nag stick na si coach uh, Gov Delta sa, sa, sa combination na to. Uh, itong combination na to worked well for him. And na natin, even timeout, di na natin marinig yung buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to calm everybody down here inside the Pino Eco Oil Center. Let's take a break. It's 41 to 36.
Panganiban drives. Panganiban scores. Or that straight away. Three pointer. Sa mga taga San Juan, patuloy na lumalaban ang inyong uh, San Juan Knights sa uh, North Division Finals ngayong 2023 in BBL Playoffs. Suportahan po natin sila sa kanilang uh, kampanya para makuha uli ang NBBL Championship. Salamat sa patuloy na pagsubaybay sa NBBL ang liga ng bawat pili. Maraming maraming salamat. Orlan Bobar drives! Orlan Bobar will score! Rudy Distrito sa Tarba Cantal. Who else? Our VIPs? Kenneth Durendes, of course. Well with us. But uh, again, back to the injuries. We have to mention that Kenneth Villapando and Ron Dennison have ACL injuries. That's why they're not present in this series. Kevin Villafranca as well is out because of a calf injury. And that is the explanation as to why there's a shortage of big men in the rotation of San Juan. Oh, oh and uh, nakikita na rin naman natin dito sa ating uh, lugar si Pao Hovillionar as well. Oh, Because, tama, diba? tama. Isang, isang frontline uh, player din ng uh, San Juan Knights. And uh, look at the, the second quarter field goal. Nag-turn around na. Uh, eight out of 14 para dito sa Giant Lantern. Four out 11 naman for the San Juan Knights. But, uh, you know, most of those yung field goals nila galing sa offensive rebound. By the way, field goal shooting is now even at even. 42% for our two teams. Mamar just missed and there's a loose ball foul on Zach Wang. And, oh, sorry, uh, it's on Renzo Subido. Oh, oh and uh, imagine itong Pampanga. You know what? We, we know yung depth ng talent nito. They haven't scored any three-pointer in this game. Pero maganda tinrabaho nila inside. Well, we mentioned the second chance scoring. Now in double figures are Pampanga or the Giant Lanterns. In the first quarter, how many did they have? Second chance. Second chance, parang sa akin, two points Two lang. points lang. Oh, oh. So it's a complete turnaround. As Henry Garcia just converted his first free throw. He now has nine points to lead the way for Pampanga. Two for two, the scoring in this quarter. Let me say it right now. It's 26 to 12 in favor of the road squad. Oh, oh talagang uh, they were able to set everything up. Yung kanilang gusto itong Giant Lanterns in the second quarter. Nawala yung turnovers. They were able to take care of that basketball. Instead, nagkaroon sila ng chance. Tapos nun, dito na, nararamdaman na ng San Juan Knights ngayon. Yung laki nitong uh, Giant Lanterns. Giant na nga eh. That's right. Here's Balti. Kick out. Garcia fakes. Whistleblown to stop the action. Three yeah, three-second violation. Il Tolentino cannot believe it. After all, it's down to a one-possession game. Yeah, I wanted to check in plus-minus ni Neil Tolentino when he got inserted in this game. Let's check that right now. Tolentino is plus 13 on the floor. Kalisan on the footback. Seven points for Mike. Five-point advantage, under a minute remaining. Here's Andrew Serrano against Adrian Novo. Screen up top. Serrano going right. Garcia, then on the shot clock. Enzo, top of the key. An air ball from Mr. Serrano. Uh oh still no three-pointer for the Giant Lanterns in this game. And they're now at zero out of 10 from downtown as we have a timeout courtesy of coach Randy Alcantara this is how important a single possession is here in our North Division Finals we'll take a break Archie comes this one bounces to Balti and that's the first Balti slam in the semifinals Going to MJ, Garcia will fly! Up, up, and away! Sa lahat ng aking mga kababayan, mga kabalin, inibitahan ko po kayo na patuloy na suportahan ang inyong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns sa kanilang paglaban sa North Division Finals dito sa 2023 MPBL Playoffs. Salamat po sa patuloy na pagtangkilik sa MPBL ang liga ng bawat Pilipino. Maraming maraming salamat po. MJ 
MJ drives. There's the kick out. Santos for three. Yes, sir. I want to share something to our viewers out there. We've covered so many games in numerous venues already in the history of MPBL basketball. But tonight seems to be one of the loudest nights that we have had for our league. It is such a beautiful thing. Oh, and, and again, uh, you know, after that, the uh, pandemic, this is the boom. This is really the normal na tayo dito. Oh, yeah. Diba? And the uh, passion of our, uh, you know, how the Filipinos love this uh, basketball. Talaga. Under 25 seconds, no boom feeds. Kalisaan, he's called for a walk. Yeah, Neil Tolentino. Sure, siguro, if you're gonna call, kung, kung opera mo yung limang uh, naglalaro right now for the Giant Lantern, siya yung pinakaldis noon. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Okay. But, pero yung contribution niya sa game na to, okay, talagang uh, isa, siya sa yung nagbalik eh. Para, para ito sa Giant Lanterns na to, to get themselves into striking distance. He has the best plus minus among all players, including San Juan. Oh. <laughs> Enter Senado drives. Kick out Garcia. Two seconds. Garcia for three. Ooh, there's a kick. Yeah, yeah. Thankful na lang si MJ na offensive foul yun. And although, uh, ito na mga giant lanterns. Isang foul pa lang, and that's the second team foul para, para sa kanila in this uh, second uh, quarter. Five tenths of a second remain. So there should be a half-court heave here, most likely by Marvin Taiwan. And it seems like the referees... There you go. Just gave a warning to Pampanga's bench. Pass to Kalisaan from half-court. Almost made the shot. And so that will do it for our first 20 minutes in game number two. Boy, what a start for us, Coach Louis. Uh oh, at the first quarter, it's on San Juan Nights. You know that, okay. Keep putting that uh, huge margin, pero Pampanga Giant Lantern so getting back, uh, okay, winning that second quarter. Then, uh, sa atin naman, uh, alam natin hindi to magiging blowout. We know, we as expected that this game will be close all throughout. Rodrigo Panganiban has risen from the ashes. He struggled in game number one, only scoring two points. And again, he had the worst plus minus. Now he is, would you say, the best player of San Juan so far? Oh, naman. Uh, siya yung missing link. Eh. Now, uh, itong na, 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 na buo ni Coach Randy yung parcel ng kanya. Nabalik niya na yung kanyang winning formula. So let's see. So, uh, itong second half kung uh, mamimaintain niya yan. Now let's recap our previous game in Bacoor. Hello and welcome, MPBL fans, to our MPBL recap to Game 1 of your South Division Finals where the Bacor City Strikers were able to draw first blood against the Batanga City Embassy. Chill, Javi Palani here, joined by Coach JV Gayoso. Coach, it was a tight race in the first five minutes of the ball game, but then again, Bacor City Strikers were able to go and take the lead and never look back. Oh, nga, it was a magical night, but still, it just jinxed itong Batangas. So, uh, a lot of things that the Batangas needs to do, uh, uh, adjustments, forget about this game. Hats off to Bacoor, great game for them. Well, let's talk about the Bacoor City Strikers so just a bit. What were the positive attributes that they really carried into this game that were big in them winning this ball game in dominant fashion? Well, well defense talaga, they, they really focused on playing tough defense, preventing Batangas scorers to get their shots off. They challenged everything, no second chance opportunities, which Batangas really is great at in getting offensive boards, but they just played an all-around game. Itong, uh, Bacoor. James Kwekote had 25 points turn. Best player of the game, honors. Jan Normal was able to backstop him with 14 points. And even Marky was able to contribute a dozen markers para dito sa Bacoor City Strikers who won the game with a total team effort. Thank you so much for joining us para dito sa ating MPBL recap of Game 1 of your South Division Finals between the Bacoor City Strikers and the Batanga City Embassy Chill. This has been Javi Palanya and Coach JV Gayoso. Good night.
Dan Statistics. Ito yung mga ganitong sitwasyon. Second chance opportunity. A point by Justin Baltasar.
Spangariba drives. Spangariba scores. Orlan straight away. Three pointer. Sa mga taga San Juan, patuloy na lumalaban ang inyong uh, San Juan Knights sa uh, North Division Finals ngayong 2023 MPBL Playoffs. Suportahan po natin sila sa kanilang uh, kampanya para makuha uli ang MPBL Championship. Salamat sa patuloy na pagsubaybay sa MPBL ang liga ng bawat team. Maraming maraming salamat. Orlan Bobar drives. Orlan Bobar will score! It is halftime here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center, the home of the MPBL second season champions, the San Juan Knights, who are looking to defend it against the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. We always say this on air, Coach Louie, it has been a tale of two quarters. And so, uh, break it down for us, what happened in the first for San Juan and in the second for Pampanga? Oh, uh, totoo yan. It's a tale of two quarters. And uh, with San Juan dictating the first, itong uh, Pampanga naman owning the second. Uh, Alam mo yun, if we're gonna explain that, it's the up-tempo game ng San Juan that started like this game. Uh, and with that, okay, they were able to take, to get um, uh, magandang, manang malaking kalamangan. Now, no second quarter naman, alam mo, the, the tides are that turn, the turn, napunta naman, ang laro naman ng Pampanga ang nangyari. Uh, okay, first quarter, maraming turnovers, walang second chance points. Second quarter, ang daming second chance points, konting turnovers. That graphic basically explained everything to us as you see that three-pointer by EG Boy Mojica. We saw seven threes from the side of San Juan in the first two frames. But on the other hand, zero out of ten for the Lanterns from downtown. Oh, oh. alam mo yun, naging halos o even ay ating field goal uh, percentage. 16 out of 39 para sa Pampanga Giant Lanterns. 15 out of 37 naman para dito sa San Juan. Pero rebounding, bigla ng... Nakita na natin yung supremacy in, in, in uh, boards itong uh, Pampanga. During that second quarter, points of turnovers, alam naman natin, ito yung chance ng San Juan para man, man, alo, makasungkit ng panalo. And uh, they're doing well with that, pero kailangan pa nilang galingan pagdating itong second half. The leading scorer for Pampanga is MJ Garcia with 10 points so far. Balti only has 5. Encho Serrano has 2 points on 1 out of 9 shooting. On the other other end of things for the San Juan Knights, it's Nico Panganiban who only scored two points in game number one. He already has 11, four out of eight shooting from the field in 13 minutes of play. And more importantly, his plus minus of being minus 14 in game number one. He's now at a plus six rate here in game number two. Orlan Omar also has eight points to support him as we are about to begin the third frame here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Oh, oh si Mr. Anjo Iliana naman. Talagang uh, star-studded. Oh, Ito yeah. ating uh, game two ng ating uh, North Division Finals. Danny El Defonso also joins us. And uh, some Valenzuela VIPs, so, Congressman Eric Martinez. Yeah, si Coach Kong. Oh, yeah. How can we forget about him? Edu Manzano, sino mo ba ibang kilala mo dyan? Yeah, Siyempre, legend, legendary, my, one of my mentors, Coach Turo Valenzona as well. Kano ano niya si Coach Raymond? Yeah, it's just that. Ah, Anak tatay. Niya, oh. yeah. Sino pa? Coach Patrick Fran. Talagang ang dami talaga. <laughs> Natanungin sana nakita ka ano, ano ni Fran niyo yan. Hindi, hindi, iba yun. <laughs> Alright, to everybody joining us, thank you so much. This is game number two of the North Division Finals. This is Mix Gomez alongside Coach Louis Gonzalez with Mika Abisamis and Sidney Crespo. San Juan is looking to extend the series into three games. Game number three, should it happen, it will take place inside the Brent Ziegiao Convention Center on Saturday. If not, Pampanga will advance to the national finals. Yes, uh, same starters for both teams, itong uh, Giant Lanterns and uh, the San Juan Knights. And uh, let's see kung... Uh, Mare replicate nitong uh, starters right now ng San Juan yung ginawa nila nung first, nung first quarter. It's Orlan Omar working with Nico Panganiban, Zach Wang, Michael Calisan, and Adrian Nocom. On the other hand, Edric Garcia is being joined by JB Bahio, Balti Baltazar, who misses, and they also have Arvin Santos and Enzo Serrano. All the way goes Orlan Omar for those two points. Oh, uh, uh, you know, okay, when you just run with him, at hindi mo talaga tatakbo, uunahan. Kay, kay Orlan Wamar, advantage na yun. Orlan is now in double figures. Bahio hands it off to MJ. Baltazar against Calisan, cross court. Enzo Serrano. Finally, he makes it the first three-pointer of Pampanga in this game. Oh, oh, that's big. 
45-41, a two-possession game here in San Juan. Adrian Nokum. He fakes and feeds. 11 on the shot clock. Nico Panganiban off of the switch. Panganiban drives. Panganiban. Almost a turnover. Recovery for Zach Wang. Oh, lucky break there by uh, for San Juan. Zach, Zach Wang being at the right place at the right time. Four points now in this game for Zach. The lead is six. Arvin Santos against Adrian Novum. Now the ball is with Encho. Balti ceiling. Against Kalisan, Baltazar, one-hander is good. Now, more relaxed and uh, mas objective na yung attack ng uh, Giant Planters right now. Tingnan natin kung ito yung naging adjustment nila. Panganiban. Ooh, that's a foul. And so caught Nico's arm there on the attempt. Alam mo, yung, yung mga refs natin in terms of yung, yung positioning, alam mo, yung back down, they're gonna let you play. Pero yung mga gano'n, yung mga pektohan yung attempt, yeah. talagang consistent tayo na patawagin. But there, the previous sequence, hindi na pektohan ni Michael Kalisan ang tira ni Bati Baldazar. The signature one-hander of a couple of Lasallians, including oh, uh -huh. Mac Cardona, who's watching here. Panganiban misses his first free throw. And now, let's listen in to Mika Abisamis. Nabanggit mo kanina, Coach Louie, na nararamdaman na ng San Juan ang laki ng Pampanga. Tama ka dyan. Dahil yan, ang kabilin-bilin na ni Governor Delta Pineda. Panahon na para magtrabaho ang frontline nila na heart and soul ng kanilang laro. Nakapaligid sa kanya ang bigs habang nasa likod naman ang backcourt boys sa kanilang huddle. Matinding defense ang kailangan nilang gawin sa, against San Juan. At sa opensa naman, sugod to sa basket, whatever it takes. Sabi nga sa akin ni Balti kanina, abangan nila ang pag-init ko dito sa second half and I would be scared to hear that from Balti Baltazar, Nick's Coach Louie. Well, we actually talked off-air coming to Coach Louie in the first half that it's scary to see MJ Garcia as the leading scorer of Pampanga because you know that eventually Balti will come alive. Oh, oh and uh, you know, when, uh, when Balti says that, a man of few words, alam mo yun, talagang gagawin na yun. He's gonna, he's gonna do that. Would you say the same for Encho Serrano? Yeah, with Encho, yeah. With Encho kasi, mas, ang, ano eh, yeah. he was able to make that first three-pointer. Pero, mas, uh, pas mas ma may pasensya si Balti. Okay. So, kung, uh, kung tataya ka na merong mabubuhay sa kanilang dalawa, it's gonna be Balti. Oo naman. So, there you have it. All right now, there's a foul called on Orlan Momar as J.B. Bahio will now proceed to the strike. Bahio has been quiet in this game, especially if you compare his performance to game number one. Oh, uh, you, you know the difference there? Is uh, yung game number one kasi, ang unang pumick up sa kanya si Ubalde. Alam mo yun, nagpapalitan si Ubalde and Michael Kalisaan. Right now, ang nakakatapat niya yung mas energetic na Sakari Wang na may food speed na mas uh, may food speed kaysa sa kanya. And now, we have a report coming in from Sidney Crespo. Match their energy. Yan ang malinaw na paalala sa San Juan Knights bago ang larong ito. Nakita natin yan sa simula. Sobra-sobra pa nga. Pero sabi ng mga coaches sa halftime, halatang nag-slow down at hesitate ang San Juan Knights sa second quarter. Gusto ni Coach Randy Alcantara na maglaro ang kanyang mga players na parang wala nang bukas. Kailangan lang nilang ibalik yung mga magandang ginawa nila kanina. Tumakbo, mag-extra pass, tumingin sa oras at lumaban kahit sino ang gamitin. Sabi nga niya, hindi kaya na yung mga starters lang ang lalaban for 40 minutes. So tingnan natin kung enough wake up call na to. Mix and Coach Louie. I like how aligned the reports of Mika and Sydney were in this quarter, no? Because you really sensed the urgencies of our two coaches and they, of course, highlighted their strengths in the first half. Oh, oh and uh, again, pinag-usapan natin yan. Mix, ito na yung crew, I, I, I mentioned na uh, crucial yung mag-start ng mag-rotate silang ng, ta, ng player, si Coach Randy Alcantara. Kung ganun pa rin ba, ba yung energy na may bibigay nila tulad nung inumpisahan ng kanyang first group. And with energy comes tempo. Uh -huh. And with tempo, that's basically one of your keys to the game. So, it's now 51 to 44. With three minutes gone by in the third quarter. And so Serrano, Against Nico Panganiban, 14 on the shot clock. I MJ like Garcia. The I like the activity of the San Juan Knights right now. Defending. Itong, uh, 
Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Is there anything special that they're doing? You, you know, uh, they're fighting for every inch. Alam mo yun, not putting, not uh, allowing itong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns to play to sa kanilang sweet spots. Here's Balti being hounded by E.G. Boy Moika. Sydney reported about E.G. Boy with his recognition that because he has transitioned into being a big man, he's giving a lot of disparity. Sa height pa lang. And when you're trying to defend Balti Baltazar and even J.B. Bahio, obviously that's a disadvantage for E.G. And now he's working a little bit more extra in order to try to cover this guy. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's a tough rebounding sequence. Yeah, starlight, star bright. You know, if you're superstars like this guy, like this sequence by uh, the Giant Lantern, we are proving a David and Goliath matchup. Talaga. He just towered over everybody else, getting that basketball, two points as well. And now our leading MVP candidate is at the stripe. A chance for him to be in double figures. Ten points now for Balti and a double foul called. Yeah. And imagine, I'm react pa dun after Balti sa putback si Allen Liwag. Pero look at the front line right now ni Pampanga Giant Lander. They have Bahio playing the three spot. Exactly. Actually, means nga, isipin mo, si Bahio bang ba small forward o si Balti Baltazar? Oo, oh, oh, tapos yung dalawang backcourt mo, ang parehong ninja. That's right, with MJ and Encho. <laughs> if you actually think about it, MJ and Encho are two of the biggest guards in the league. Oo, oh, oh, and athletic as well. 51-47. Let's see if that height advantage and athleticism can pay off for Pampanga. Mojica is fouled. Pero, pero alam mo yun, uh, San Juan, para sa akin, still doing a good job. Alam mo yun, maintaining itong kalamangan nila. Alam mo, hindi na to sinlaki nung uh, first quarter, pero still, they're still up by four. Pampanga has it led in this game. Oo. Oh, oh. As this free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kumpletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. This guy is playing hurt, as Sydney mentioned. Mojica injured his knee in that series versus Nueva Ecija. But then again, come the playoffs, you really have to speed up your recovery process. Exactly. And uh, you know, you can appreciate this guy. Yung kanya, puro improvement lang kasi talaga nangyari kay Eji Boy. Nadagdagan yung uh, klase ng game niya. Tapos Ooh. yung maturity niya. Nice block by Mojica. But Balti recovers with the ball. There's the pass to MJ. Garcia soars and scores. Can you stop that finish? Okay, looking it at the angle that it makes. <laughs> it's a ninja-like layup from MJ Garcia. Panganiban to Zach Wang. Short rebound, Bahio. JB, forward pass. That's too, that's too strong. He almost made the shot. <laughs> and uh, going back to the report, no, talagang, uh, gusto talaga ni uh, Gov Delta na. Pakita na natin yung laki na natin. Scramble. Momar feeds to the wrong guy. Forward pass. Enzo Serrano stops. Aliu Bahio. Two free throws. You talk about, you're talking about height is might. And I think that's the game plan right now. I think adjustment na ginawa ni uh, Coach Go, uh, Gold Delta Pineda. There's some height for you and some athleticism as well by MJ Garcia. That's a strong side going to the left. As JB Bahio is now at the stripe. By the way, EG Boy Moika, much like in game number one, is now in foul trouble. He has four fouls to his name. Oh, oh talagang uh, doble talaga yung kayo. Kailangan nilang doon eh. Uh, Alam mo yun, iba pag yung isa lang eh. Pero right now, tatlo eh. That's right. Dumala pa ang sitwasyon para sa San Juan. Bahio on his second gimme. He's down by three. That short rebound, JB. Taiwan is trying to steal the ball to no avail. Bahio escapes. Foul called. Is that an EG boy? If it is, he's done. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. 
Five fouls now for Eiji Boy Mohika. And we're only halfway done in the third quarter. Oh, oh and uh, you know, in that last sequence, in the last sequence, JB Bayo shooting that free throw. Pero kung titignan mo, yung anim na nandun sa loob, disadvantage pa rin yung uh, San Juan Knights eh, sa, lalaki, sa laki ng tatlo eh. Imagine Allen Liwag, Justin Baltasar, and JB Bayo shooting that free throw. Hal puro 6-5 pataas na ito. That's why Serrano and NJ can relax at the backcourt right now. And uh, this is what I'm. This is what we're talking about. Now, yung gini give up right now nitong uh, combination five ni Coach Randy Alcantara in terms of height and rebounding. Orlan Wamar and Marvin Taiwan playing together. RJ Concepcion will now check in as we take a look at Dexter Mikez and Larry Rodriguez at the bench of San Juan. I wonder what that may mean in the next season of the MPBL. Those two are former Knights here in our league. Oh, oh you know, former players, players from other teams. Alam mo yun, kayo, nagpunta dito para manood eh. Oh. Kasi alam nila kung gano'ng ga, gano kaganda itong laban na ito. There's a blocking foul called on MJ Garcia. And it means free throws already for Orlan Mamar. Our two teams are in the penalty. But San Juan's lead is now in ultimate danger. It's only at one point. Oh, oh but uh, okay. Etong, etong Pampanga, hindi pa to lumalamang. First free throw is good for Orlan Mamar. He's four out of five from the stripe. And there is Ephraim Yu with Pau Habillonar and Kenneth Villapando. Second one for Orlan. That's good. He has 12 points with two boards and two dimes to his name. Encho spins. Nice move. Two more free throws. The foul is on Will Yambing. And now slowly, etong uh, uh, giant dancers double. Yung kanilang uh, rebounding uh, plus. Okay, now it's 36 compared to 18 for the San Juan Knights. At halftime, it was 28 to 17. So the rebounding in this quarter is 8 to 1. Mm -hmm. First free throw is no good for Enzo. Enzo Serrano has struggled today. He has five points to his name. 2 out of 12 from the field. And 0 out of 2 now from the line. Offensive rebound though to Alan Liwag. Balti could not score. Liwag is now fouled. It's just so hard trying to box out these lanterns. Oh, oh and you're going to see the face of uh, Jeff Tahonera, Saka Liwag. And even, even the two guards now, si Marvin Taiwan and si Orlan Romar. Nandun na sa loob eh. Yeah. Kaso, Alan Liwag is just too athletic and too too tall. Okay, tapos nandyan pa si Justin Baltasar. So Liwag will now be tested at the line. He has four points so far. This is his first trip at the stripe. First one is good. And these are the guys that's becoming the unsung heroes for the Giant Lanterns. Okay, Alan Liwag, Neil Tolentino. At it, si MJ Garcia. And they're doing this on the road. Usually, bench players come alive at home. Good thing is that they've sent a lot of kapampangans here inside the Philo Eco Oil Center. It feels like a game with home court advantage for both squads. Marvin and, Taiwan. And it's a reflection of a uh, magandang organization. Uh, made. Taiwan still has the ball. Nine on the shot clock. There's the escape. Two more free throws in this quarter. Alam mo, hindi na natin talaga naririnig yung whistle eh. Tinitignan natin kung yung referees natin nagtataas na lang ng kamay. Well, the most important thing is the players can still hear the whistles. So they would know when to stop. And kudos also to the three officials that ang ganda ng kanilang pag-administer nitong larong ito. We always talk about how hard it is to be a referee. More so to be a referee 
in a division finals game in the MPBL. You know, these referees, sometimes they even get feedback from the crowd. They get yelled at. It's not easy. Yeah. Taiwan converts. 56-53. Another four and a half minutes in the third quarter. Archie Concepcion against Orlan Womar. Archie drives. Archie is fa... Oh, no. It's a traveling violation. Now, Orlan Womar got away with it. Let's see Archie's numbers. He's one out of four from the field. Five points. Let's see if he can play better. With 14 minutes to go in this game. Marvin Taiwan. Calling out to play. 14 on the shot clock. Taiwan goes to Wamar. Tolentino trying to harass him. Panganiban fakes. Tahonera from yeah, the corner. No good. Offensive rebound, Zach Wang. Oh, oh the value of Zachary Wang. Uh, you know, 100%. Tanja talaga effort itong player na to. Taiwan losing Archie. Oh my goodness! <laughs> An ankle breaker three pointer by Marvin Taiwan. Now the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, what a play. Oh, oh, alam mo yun. Hindi yung three-pointer eh. Yung timing ng three-pointer ni uh, Marvin Taiwan. This three-point shot is brought to you by Extreme. One-stop shop appliances. On the isolation, the guy who has come alive in the playoffs comes alive once again, but this time in front of the home crowd. Just dazzling everybody here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Must be the hair. <laughs> I did ask him about it, and he said, Baja Buenas. Baja Buenas. <laughs> 59-53, Balti Baltazar. On to Encho, man down for San Juan. Serrano could not answer back. And there's a foul on the rebounding sequence. It's on Zach Wang. Wow. Ito talaga, okay. literal mix. Yung key na yan. Diyan naglalaro yung mga big boys. Okay, look at this. Zach Wong just doing everything that he can to try to contain Alan Liwag. To the point that he had to hug him. And so it's a foul on Zach. Two free throws for Alan. First one is good for the Caviteño. Now, for you to do that, talaga you have to be hunt. Yung conditioning level mo dapat talaga napakataas na talaga. Before we continue, Ale Abbas of Dasbarinas, Ivy Panginan, happy happy birthday, and Justin Kalimlim from Thailand. Good evening, po sa inyo. Worldwide, talaga, no? Oh yes. 59-55, three minutes and 15 in the third quarter. Here's Marwin. Pinapalabas si Nico Panganiban. Lamar is running around. Nine on the shot clock. Jeff Tahonera, back to Nico. Panganiban drives. He escapes. Good one. Layup is good. On the other end, Tolentino traveled. Yeah. Oh, it's a lifting violation, not a travel. Again, that was bad. It's clear. It's not clear. Na talaga ni lift talaga ni uh, Neil Tolentino in bola. So let's see if they're gonna continue play doing this. Okay, from horse setup, staggered screen, staggered screen. Here's Taiwan from the same angle on the ISO. Taiwan sizing up Garcia. Nine on the shot clock. Oh. To the corner. Tahonera. Short. Rebound Encho. Yeah, Pampanga committing 16 turnovers in this game. At itong uh, San Juan naman, just six. MJ goes to Encho. Garcia to the corner. Tolentino. That's an air ball from Neil. Ball out of bounds in favor of San Juan. Uh, oh, Neil Tolentino is doing too much. Uh, he needs to stay dun sa kanyang lakas. Alam mo yun, uh, he, was, he did that in that first quarter, first half. So he just have to continue. No See, touches for Justin Baltasar in the last three sequence. Would you credit that to the defense of San Juan as Nico Panganiban misses? Is it the defense of San Juan? Oh, oh talagang uh, forcing eh. Kaya, kaya pinag-usapan natin uh, before the game. Importante, importante yung disiplina. 
ng Giant Lantern sa larong ito if they wanted to close out San Juan here in Piloy Arena. That's a miss by Taiwan. He did not have the numbers. MJ Garcia drives. MJ on the extension. He gets the bounce. 14 for MJ. He's the leading scorer of Pampanga. Four-point game. 80 seconds to go in the third. Orlan, three-pointer! And, uh, you know, Coach Randy sticking to this 2-3 zone. Siguro kasi nakita niya na hindi, na, hindi nakaka-convert from the, beyond the arc itong uh, giant lanterns eh. Pampanga swinging that ball around. Enzo finds Tolentino. He attacks. And it's just out of bounds. A turnover. Again, doing too much. Tolentino will now take a breather as we take a look at this Orlan Vomar three-pointer from top of the key. There's a reason why he's the three-point king of the MPBL. Oh, and you know, no. Uh, they, got, they got close already. The buzzer is sounding. Yeah. Or six players, six white shirts inside the team. So that's a tech, right? That's a tech. Tolentino, I thought he was supposed to be subbed out. Oh, oh. Who was the sixth player? Were you able to spot him? Yeah, Encho Serrano just sat down. Encho was there, then he sat down. The referee, Jake Casaverde, is now clearing things up. Boy, you can just feel the intensity here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Uh -oh. Again, I mentioned this in the first half. We already have great venues in the MPBL. Shout out to provinces like Mevisia, Pampanga, Quezon Province. Bacoor. Usually, Bacoor, but usually in, in Manila, in Metro Manila, hindi ka uh -oh. So this is a special night. As you take a look at what happened, with the substitution of Pampanga. Ayan, umupo si Neil. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was looking at Balti because Balti was really frustrated. He was going to hold his uh, water. Uh, tapos biglang nagalit siya. Then uh, suddenly, they asked Neil Tolentino to get na bumalik dun sa floor. So dun, nag, dun naging anim. Naging anim because Encho was still there as well. All right, that's here from Richard Tampos on this official call. As he's getting instructions from our referees. Technical foul is called on Bambanga Giant Lanterns for improper bench decorum. Yeah, that's Second automatic. impression. Technical foul. Here's the gimme for Orlan Mamar. And you know, uh, when Pampanga thought that nandu na sila, makukuwa na nila yung kalamangan. Ooh! San Juan Knights answered. <laughs> yep, that has been the story for Senator Jingo Estrada. Every time San Juan misses a free throw. Pwede bang sa three-point shot na mag-free throw si Orlan Omar? Parang mas surbol pa eh, no? Orlan's three-point shooting. Oh, he's hit two threes already in this game, which is better. Let me check game number one. No, no, he's one short away from matching his game one output from downtown. 64-57. Womar drives. He's blocked. Let's see what happened here. Yeah. Look at how athletic this guy is. Baseline inbound. Nico Panganiba needs a teammate. There's Jeff Tahonera against Arvin Santos. The ultimate veterans of our two teams. Oh, oh. Nagsabay pa yata sa UAP dun dalawa eh. <laughs> Jeff Pavillonar from downtown. Again, making it great. What a way for you to score your first points in game number two. And these are the these are the contributions na sobrang laki. Arwin to answer back. Off to the right. Rebound to Honera. 13 seconds to go before the end of the third. Now, again... Lead back into double digit. Para sa San Juan Knights. 
Down to three seconds. Orland drives, kick out, put a pass. Taiwan! Yes, sir! Orlan Momar, the franchise player of the San Juan Knights with one of the toughest passes that we have ever seen. And there's the angle for Marvin Taiwan. Almost the same angle as his ankle breaker. The Archie Concepcion is able to make the crowd explode here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. I like Orlan Momar's reaction. Parang sobrang sigurado siya that Marvin Taiwan would connect that three-pointer. With all of the disadvantages brought about by the two point guards on the floor, that's one of the advantages when you have them together, at least for San Juan. It's 70 to 57, as that three pointer definitely counted for uh, Marwin Taiwan. Boy, what a ride it has been! 70 to 57 after three. See our player matchup. It's the two bigs, Bali Baltazar versus Michael Isaan. Uh oh, pero sa akin, Justin, okay, all okay, in usual numbers, pero itong si Michael Isaan, though 7 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, but the energy na inupisahan niya sa larong ito, defending Justin Baltazar, enough already para makapa, makaala, para, para umandal yung team niyang San Juan Knight. There you see the difference in terms of points 10 for Balti, 7 for Mike. Again, for Pampanga, their brightest star, ironically, in this game has been MJ Garcia. He leads the way with 14 points. Balti is the second leading scorer with 10. On the other end, because you mentioned, Kalisan has taken a backseat in terms of scoring. It's Orlan Mamar with 15. Liga Panganiban has 14. And Marvin Taiwan has 13 to his name. And, uh, you know, when we have that numbers, looking at it, we know, pinapanood natin halos lahat ng laro dito sa MPBL MIG. We know, especially up against a team, a good, a strong team. Pag ganyan yung numbers ng San Juan, maganda lagi yung nagiging chance nila. Fourth quarter now begins in game number two of the North Division Finals. Thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez alongside Coach Louis Gonzalez, Mika Abisamis, and Sidney Crespo at your service. Cross court yeah. pass. Here's yes. Balti going to Encho. San Juan sticking to that hybrid zone. Sayang, six seconds left and uh, pumol pa si uh, Nico Pangliban. So if you're Pampanga, is it just the three-pointer that's going to be the solution to this zone? Uh, I think uh, you have a Balti Baltasar in your team. Okay, With this kind of defense, you know that the ball needs to get to Justin Baltasar fan. Kasi isa sa akin niya yung defense. Eh. And, this, this, and after the kick out, doon kayo aatake. Eh. Well, Lendry Garcia answered to the call in that previous sequence. The lead is 11, 70 to 59. Nico Panganiban against Arwin Santos. Nico lost Arwin, turn around, shot off to the left. Balik tayo kay Encho. Serrano for three, that's a big one. Uh, oh, you know, if you're Pampanga, you'll be happy starting the fourth quarter with that run. 5-0 to zero run, oh, oh. just as you mentioned. And that's the second three-pointer of the Lanterns out of 17 tries as Orland misses. 
Rebound to Armin Santos. He's being challenged by Zach Wang. Scramble. A lot of hands on that ball. Oh. And I think right now, Arvin Santos, nararamdaman niya na kung gano'ng ka-intense tayo dito sa MPBL. <laughs> well, we kind of anticipated this as well. Na as long as Pampanga is advancing in the playoffs, then we should expect more and more intensity coming out from Arvin. Oh. But again, yung adjustment, kasi na here, you know, okay, or, or, lahat ng mga players natin dito, they don't mind. Alam mo yun, uh, hindi, na, hindi na nangingilala eh. Talagang maglalaro, maglalaro na lang eh. Missed by Taiwan. Here's JB Bahio. No numbers for him. Wisely waited for his teammates. Uh, so let's see if uh, Pampaya, so San Juan, still sticking to that 2-3 zone. Encho goes to Arwin. They swing it to MJ. Garcia drives. Cross court. Five on the shot clock. Serrano, Arwin, mid-range. Too strong. Rebound, Bahio. The ball was snatched away, but there was a foul call. It's on Zach Wang. Oh, third foul. Baseline inbound. Up top to MJ. They swing it to Arwin. Back to Garcia. Encho. Same look. Different result. And there's a foul. Is that on Zach again? Or on the other side? It's a foul. Yes, on Zach Wang. Yeah, four fouls. Yeah, these are the things that you expect. Because, uh, you know, you, need, you really need to battle it out down low. Adrian Nokum will now check in alongside Jeff Avignonar. You'd want to keep and preserve Zach Wang in Marvin Taiwan for possibly our crucial minutes. Oh. Meron pa sana si Rebook Sang eh. Kaso he's not yet, parang hindi pa siya 100%. Eh. And he's been in and out of the rotation, Coach Louie. A oh, bit of a struggle for Reeve in the past games. Garcia from way out. No good. Rebound Orlan. Omar. Screen up top. Orlan fires. No bounce. Rebound Kalisan. But Push. he seemed to have pushed Balti. That's the fourth foul as well by Mike Alisan. And you know, again, it will be expected. It's not easy battling it out with 6'7, 6'8, 6'6 athletic front line. So we go back with Enzo Serrano in Pampanga against that zone of San Juan. Balti being defended by Kalisan, who has four fouls as we mentioned. Baltazar double team. Baltazar is blocked. Nokung goes to Omar. Orlan swinging it. Panganiban for three. Too strong. Rebound Nokung. He lost the ball, but it's recovered by San Juan. Orlan off of the switch. Bounce pass. That's too weak. Yeah, too weak. And on the other end, Entra Serrano is fouled. That should, should give everybody a breather here in San Juan, as oh. we all deserve so. Medyo may anxious moment na yung ating crowd. But now, why don't we go technical once more as Coach Louis evaluate your keys to victory for Pampanga. Oh, starlight, star bright, flashes only ang nakita natin. So, okay, it's a no for me. Killer's instinct, relax. Diba? Parang uh, alam nila na mer they're, they're up 1-0 one, 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 oh versus the San Juan Knight. But start strong, finish stronger. Ito hindi pa natin alam. We still have 6 minutes, 56 seconds. To, kung matatapos pa ng Pampanga, ito, itong uh, series nila versus the San Knight. How about the side of San Juan? Your keys to victory. Oh, okay. Pace and tempo, it's a plus. Okay, battle of the board. Takita naman natin. The, even though na, they're in fall trouble, Alam mo yun, nandun sila ng umpisa pero medyo nakit, lumakas yung pampanga dyan. Make it, making it rain 
I think that's one thing, one of the reason why up to now, lamang pa ah, etong San Juan Knights. There's a foul on the other end. It's on JB Bahio. Four fouls now on him. All right. Let me get through this. Some more greetings. Former Finals MVP, Mike Ayanayan is watching with Jake Cooper, Christopher Conwy, Harvey Bringas is watching as well. Sa Camelia Orani Bataan. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. All right. I'm going to give a disclaimer to everybody else. I'm going to be focusing on the game for the rest of our time with six and a half minutes to go. So thank you for joining us. As we continue to enjoy game number two, there's a substitution here. JB Bahio will now sit down. Yeah, you know, it's really an exciting game. You shift ng momentum, eh, kasi di ba? Ang dami, ang dami shift, eh. Uh, magkakaroon ng, ng mini runs. Actually, mini runs ang pinag-uusapan. Enzo Serrano, nice looking layup. 71-65, Orlan. Lamar needing a teammate. There's Jeff Avillanar. Back to Orland. 13 on the clock. Pass inside. Nokum lost the ball. Yeah, Adrian Nokum. Na, kaya hindi masyado siya nagiging factor sa game na to. After a good start, medyo nag, nag lumamig na. Enzo Serrano. On to Balti. The usual two-man game. Foul obtained once more by Justin Baltazar. See what happened in the previous sequence. Balti finding his old time buddy in Enzo Serrano, who is one half of the ninjas that you <laughs> described in the first half. Yeah, you, know, you know, even if you a little bump, or even if you bump him hard, sa ganung classing action, kalamo Enzo can still create something out of that. All right, now we have a report coming in from Sydney Crespo. Alam niyo, mix and coach Louie, pinahinga ni Coach Randy sina Zach Nico, Orlan, Marvin, at Jeff Havillonar sa bench bago nagsimula ang fourth quarter. Ang signal niya, huminga muna kayo sa glit. Sabay paalala na, last 10 minutes na lang. Ito yung sinasabi ni Coach Randy nung division semifinals pa lang na inuubos na nila lahat ng correction sa practice. So when it's game time, it's all up to his players. Nasabi niya to nung tinanong ko kung bakit madalang ko siyang makitang tense or stressed in game. Ngayon natin dapat makita yung composure at kumpiyansa na sinasabi ni Orlan sa akin kaninang pinakamalaking bagay na binigay daw sa kanya ni Coach Randy mula 2018. Back to you guys. Actually, that's definitely a good point though. Coach Randy Alcantara is number one, a soft-spoken guy. Mm -hmm. But number two, because of his experience in this level of play, he's so used to this that he's such a nice example to his players on the floor. Exactly. And, uh, you know, ito yung, yung mga teams ni Coach Randy, ito yung mga halos walang movement. Kasi, nagtitiwala siya doon sa mga kinukuha niyang players eh. Kaya nagsushine sa kanya eh. Balik tayo sa Pampanga. They're down by five. Halfway through the fourth and final frame. Rebounding story. A plus 23 for Pampanga. JLC from the corner. And uh, alam mo yun, it just shows the depth in terms of talent nitong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Yung mga players na even at di, di, nabigyan lang ng maikling playing time, alam mo yun, hindi na nag-iisip eh. The ball was stopped out of bounds in favor of Pampanga. Good defense there by the Lanterns. And now they have a chance to tie the game up, maybe even get the lead with a three-pointer as they take a look at that drive and kick by Enzo Serrano on the John Roy Clemente. Oh, okay, this guy just came in from bench, will not think twice because we know Oh, he used to be the leading scorer of the NU Bulldogs back in the UAAP. That's how good this guy is. 71-69. Down to three seconds. Orland drives, kick out, what a pass. Taiwan! Yes, sir! This assist of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming.
representing our Suzuki muscular and sporty fans of the game, just like the Avenis. Do more and achieve more with the muscular and sporty scooter from Suzuki. The Avenis oras na para magmotor. Now the Kapampangans are well alive inside the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center because they have a golden opportunity to either tie the game up or get their first lead of game number two. Totoo yan. And uh, again, not giving up. And uh, alam mo yung timely substitution na ginagawa ni Coach Gov Delta Riders. Really doing wonder para sa kanila makabalik ito sa larong ito. So let's see. Two-man game up top. Signature Pampanga that is. The ball is back with Encho. Serrano drives. Serrano scores. We're tied at 71. Yeah, what about Encho Serrano in this fourth quarter uh, mix? Four minutes and 14. Taiwan is fouled. That's team foul number two for Pampanga in the fourth quarter. Let's see the previous sequence. Entra Serrano able to fake that pass to the corner as he gave us that layup. Tied at 71. Marwin. Taiwan. Tahunera, four on the shot clock. Taiwan has to make something happen. There's a whistle blown. It's a foul on Pampanga. Oh, oh. Yeah, we were talking about it off air. Na itong Pampanga, one foul palang sa support quarter. Pero ito, two quick fouls after that timeout. Orlando Mar is now about to return in this game. Scoring in this quarter, Coach Louis, 16 to 1. And you know, uh, eight points out of those 16. Galing ke Encho Serrano. Really come out alive in this fourth quarter. We're back with Marwin. Under four minutes to go in game number two. Orlan Momar against JLC. Momar wow. bounce pass. Zak Wang. Too strong. Rebound to Balti. Yeah, Zak Wang needs to be careful there. Nursing four fouls already. A chance for Pampanga to get its first lead in this game. That's a backcourt violation. A good stop there by uh, Adrian Nokum. Again, tied. Not yet. Di pa ayo pa rin ayo pa rin ibigay ng San Juan na makaram makaramdam ng kalamangan at ng Pampanga Giant Lantern Lake. Nokum did not even tap the ball. No. That's definitely off of Enzo Serrano. Seven on the shot clock. Zach Wang inside. Zach Wang needs a teammate. There's Orlan for Good three. Finder. That's short. Rebound Zach. Kick out. Taiwan. His three-pointer. Too strong. And there's a scramble. Recovery for Pampanga. You're gonna, you're gonna admire the heart of Sakari Wang here in this game, uh, Amig. Three minutes and change. Pampanga. Can they finally get the lead? There Pick you go. and roll. Alan Miwak for two. Finally. And you know what? Ang pinakamaganda doon. Off on a great pick and roll execution. 73-71. Taiwan. Nice shot. We're tied again. Two and a half minutes remain in game number two. Uh oh, oh. Uh, it's Coach Randy sticking to that two guard combination. Uh, Orlan Wamar and uh, Marvin Taiwan. Marvin Taiwan. Missed by Enzo. Here's Adrian Nokum on the run. Nokum crosses. Kick out. Orlan to Marwin. Too That's his time. angle. Too strong. Rebound, Zach. Wow, Zachary won. San Juan slows things down. Seven on the shot clock. Wamar drives, Wamar misses. Forward pass, Encho Serrano. One guy to beat, Serrano is fouled. And you know, best effort already there by Jeff Taunera. <laughs> Let's see the two-man game between Encho Serrano and Alan Liwa. Oh, okay, great execution there. Okay, with Alan Liwa finishing it. Okay, a backboard floater. So that gave Pampanga its first lead in this game. 
before the answer of Marvin Taiwan. The foul obviously was called on the 41-year-old Jeff Tahonera who had to chase Enzo Serrano on that fast break opportunity. Oh, oh and uh, you know what's hard there is, uh, right there, you can appreciate Jeff there being in control. And talaga hinabol niya talaga si Enzo eh. Well, he had no choice, Coach Louis, oh, as he mentioned. Oh. Again, earn it, earn it from the line. There's a warning on Encho. Let's see his free throw shooting. He's one out of four so far in this game. Pampanga is shooting at a 66% clip. First one is good. Lead back with the Giant Lanterns. 14 points now for Encho Serrano in this game. Oh, oh, what a game, makes! What a game. He also has three rebounds and six assists, by the way. For those of you who still don't know about it, if San Juan wins this game, we will go back to the Ren Ziguel Convention Center this coming Saturday for game number three. If Pampanga wins, they will advance to the MPVL National Finals awaiting the victors between the Bacoor City Strikers and the Batanga City Embassy Chill. And, uh, you know, both divisions... Uh Ang ganda ng match up eh. And uh, siguro sa akin as expected, especially sa South. And uh, this one, you know, San Juan, uh, sila yung, though nasa 6 sila, the lowest seeded team that made it to the national final. Pero hindi naman ganun kalaki sa rin yung difference ng ating mga right. team standings eh. And we argued it since round number one that San Juan didn't really seem like a 6 seed. Oh, oh. Some people still think of them as the 3 seed. They matched up against Makati, Nevaisia, and now Pampanga. I'm sure you as well would say that that's the toughest journey by any team in the top four. Oh, and uh, you know that series versus uh, the Makati OK Bet Kings that went into double overtime. Oh, we, yeah. Yeah. We played Monday, eh. Natapos kami Tuesday. Tuesday na, eh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's 10.50 in the evening. 74-73. Second free throw for Enzo Serrano. That's short. Rebound to no one. Ball tapped away. Jump ball. But the referees can review this for oh. under two minutes. And uh, these are the situations that you don't want to make a mistake. Uh, you, our, our referees right now, especially we're under the last two minutes, reviewable na lahat eh. Pwede na nilang, just to make sure. Just to make sure. Ang laki na at stake dito sa larong ito. And that's why napainom na ng tubig itong si Senior Deputy Speaker Congressman Don Gonzalez with Coach Raiko Toroman at the sideline. Some legends in Philippine basketball, some celebrities joining us as well. Even some junior MPBL players are present. That's the, the rest of the Gonzalez family, by the way. Former San Juan players, Paolo Javillonar, Fran Yu. They also have Ron Dennison there with... Kevin Villafranca and Kenneth Villapando. And uh, you can appreciate na itong mga teams na to because na, naging pamilya na eh. Oh, yes. Diba? And uh, okay, with right now, okay, sabi ko yung muscular ko right now na it's yung buong crowd eh. Yung crowd ng San Juan at yung crowd nitong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Talagang uh, grabe engagement nila from the starting buzzer up to now, uh, mix. Well, Coach Louis, this is the longest league in the Philippines, right? It stretches to 10 months. Oh. There's the build-up since the beginning of the season. May mga fans din talaga na, alam mo, inaabangan eh. Inaabangan yung division finals, yung national finals, kung saan may expectation na tayo na ganito ang magiging atmosphere. Oh, oh and uh, this is the first time na, alam mo, ngayon araw na to, kalina, kalina hapon pa ako nandito sa totoo lang eh, di ba? By the way, congratulations <laughs> on your win, Coach Louis. <laughs> Pero nung nagpagbalik ko, Nakita ko ng ganong karami oh, yes. crowd natin. Ah, uh, yung baklate. Danny of the Ponzo, Congressman Eric Martinez, Sir Danny Espiritu. Rodney Santos, by the way, is joining us, our oh. former analyst here in the MPBL. Shout out to you, Coach Rodney. All right. So the referees decided that it's going to be Pampanga possession. They're up by one. Same Enzo play. Serrano. Same play. Now they switch it. Zach Wong with four fouls trying to cover Enzo. He passes to JLC. Three-pointer is good! Yes. 
JLC. Yeah. How important yung dalawang three-pointer niya. Lang. Great recognition by Enzo Serrano. From the Sal, he gave that ball up to NU. And that ball swishes through for John Lloyd Clemente. His first three-pointer came from the corner. Now it's from the left wing. And he just gave us that Steph Curry night-night celebration. And uh, we know that itong Pampanga Giants, they've been struggling beyond the arc all throughout this game. But JLC, alam mo yun, answered with that. that ito lang, ganitong kadali lang tumira ng three points. Back to back pa. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Senator Jingoy Estrada and company with their backs against the wall, will look for solutions. We have 100 seconds to go in game number two. It's a four-point lead for the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. and change. Pampanga. Can they finally get the lead? There Pick and roll. Alan Miwag for two. This assist of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. Pampanga Giant Lanterns are closing in into being the North Division champions in the fifth season of the MPBL. But we still have 100 seconds to go in game number two between Coach Dennis Delta Pineda and Coach Randy Alcantara. The champion coach of season two of the MPBL representing San Juan is still looking for answers. They still have light on their side, down by four, but this is the biggest lead of Pampanga after San Juan led by as many as 19 in the first half. Okay, talking about not giving up, sticking to the game plan, sticking to each other, and trusting. Ito yung ginawa ng Giant Lantern sa larong ito. Sideline inbound for Marwin Taiwan. He works with Nico Panganiban, Michael Kalisaan, Zach Wang, and Orlan Wamar. Here's Orlan, screened by Kalisaan. Wamar against Liwag. Eighth on the shot clock. Orland crosses. He steps back. This is a big one. Short. Rebound Zach Wong. Back to Orland. Momar drives. Momar with the reverse. Bothered by Balti Baltazar. Forward pass. Balti double team. They go to Liwag. Oh, oh etong San Juan are already in the penalty. Balti trying to attack. Almost a steal. Kick out. Six on the shot clock. Encho for the dagger. Short. And there's a foul in the rebounding sequence. It's on San Juan. Oh, and uh, you know, we can do nothing about it anymore. Uh, Nico Panganiban. Well, I'm batting it out for a positioning versus a 6-7 Justin Baltasar. Wala ka na magagawa. Oh, it was uh, Zachary Wang, sorry. That's Rather. it. That's it for Zach. Five fouls, Adrian Nopom will replace it. So now San Juan goes even smaller. Two free throws now are given to Balti Baltazar. 12 points, 16 rebounds, 7 assists for Balti. Oh, oh, and he's not gonna miss. Free throw shooting now at 4 out of 5 for Balti Baltazar, our leading MVP candidate in the 5th season of the MPBL. Second one is good. It's a 6-point advantage. The biggest lead in this game for Pampanga. One minute to go. Taiwan for 3. That's good. San Juan is still alive. Oh, oh mahaba pa to, Mix. Mahaba pa to. And now there's a charge called on Pampanga 
And Coach Randy is asking for a technical foul on the coaching staff of the Giant Lanterns. Pampanga is arguing that they were actually asking for a timeout uh -oh. before the charge. Uh -oh. So, wala yun. Uh, no call. Kasi nag okay, they, 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 they reserve sila ng timeout na if San Juan will make a basket, ta timeout sila. So there's the three-pointer. After that, the charge was uh, located on the floor. Wait for a push here. There you go, by MJ Garcia. But as that was happening, there was already a timeout that was supposed to be called for the Pampanga side. Uh oh, and uh, you know, for, for our viewers, ganun po kaingay talaga ngayon dito. Yes. Talagang uh, yung, yung whistle ng referee, yung buzzer ng ating mga table officials, talagang medyo nahihirapan ko kami talagang marinig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our referees have talked about each other and seen about their decision. We shall listen to the huddle of Coach Dennis Pineda. Guys, huwag kayong bababa kagad. Yung do-double kay Balte. O siya may guys, magpakita ha. Pasa na kagad, tapos sa talo tayo. Baba kagad ha. Formation boss, formation. We're getting some signals that Yes, the timeout was called, so it's not going to be a charge on Pampanga. They will keep possession here. Up by three points with 55.7 seconds to go in game number two. But we still have to hear it from Richard Campos for the official call. Ladies and gentlemen, the timeout has called after the basket. There was no offensive foul. There you go. Yeah, they really need to do that just to make just to be clear. Mm -hmm. So uh, Pampanga opted to bring, take that ball out to backcourt. Major gamble to mix. JLC works with MJ Garcia. Now there's a foul called on Marvin Taiwan, which means free throws are ready for MJ. happened so fast in the oh. previous possession. <laughs> and uh, okay, itong ina argue ni Coach Randy, uh, Randy is uh, parang bibit hindi na ganun kanipis yung tawagan natin all throughout. Correct? Yes. Uh, Kumbaga ituloy nyo na hanggang dulo. Ituloy nyo na eh. Oo, oh, hanggang dulo eh. And uh, itong uh, San Juan is already in the penalty. And that's why MJ is already at the line, getting ready to shoot free throws. Let's see if there really was a foul here. Ayun ang hawak ni Marvin. Do we recover lang eh? That's why I need you to explain it to everybody right now, Coach Louie. In each game, calls are relative, right? Oh, oh. and uh, it's, it's always important na you let the coaches know how you're gonna, how you, how you are calling it. Because mm -hmm. kami nag adjust eh. Kung mag, kung magsimula kayo ng, ng maninipis na tawag right from the get go, mag adjust kami. Tama. Pero hindi pa pe You're letting the players play. Then come, may darating na situation na biglang maiiba yung paggagalingan ng decision mo. Magiging detrimental. Pero especially, ito sa crucial part ng ating uh, ball game and. Uh, yeah, banging bodies. Alam mo, kanina pa tayo naghahawakan, pero para sa atin, masyadong light. Masyadong light. Well, the referees are clearing it out right now. Just to be sure with that call, with 54 seconds to go. But is there actually a chance that they would rescind it? Ah, uh, That, I don't know. Because uh, hindi pa yun nangyayari. Usually, tutuloy nila yan. Tutuloy nila yan. No? They have to stick to it. Okay, That's their decision. That's their judgment. They need to stand to it. Alam mo, wala nang challenge eh. And so, 
We shall continue as well with the mindset that NJ Garcia is about to shoot free throws. Oh, oh. He's two out of three from the line so far. Before the emergence of Encho Serrano in the fourth quarter, MJ, and correct me if I'm wrong about this, MJ was the best player of Pampanga. Oh, oh totoo yan. And uh, he was the reason now, uh, bakit nakarecover out of that big deficit itong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns na hindi nakakasyo si Balti at the start, hindi nakakasyo, nakakakontribute nakaka si Encho. It was MJ talaga na nag-answer dun sa call nila. Remember, Pampanga trailed by as many as 19 points oh. in this game before leading by as many as six. You know, this could have been over by now if Marvin Taiwan did not make that previous three-pointer as well. Exactly. And, but you know, San Juan will not give, it, give up without a fight. Talagang uh, nandyan palagi sila. So let's see what will happen here. All right. The referees will be speaking with Richard Tampos for the official call. And we shall listen to the OG arena announcer of the MPBL. And uh, I think if he, if he admit, there's admission of mis, mis wrong call there. Ladies and gentlemen, it was inadvertent whistle. There you go. They take it back. Oh. oh. So there's not going to be a foul. They actually took it back. Oh, oh. Because uh, the Pampanga Giant Lanterns will understand. We'll understand na uh, hindi naman ganun eh. Alright, so JLC will be inbounding. They're still at their backcourt. He has Andrew Serrano with him, NJ Garcia, Alan Liwag, and Balti Baltazar as well. But now, they the get... referees are going to review something else. Uh oh, okay. They're going to they're gonna put back the time. I think it, it was a 55.7 seconds sa ating uh, game clock. Well, at least... They should get things right before we continue. Oh, oh. I just hope that the players haven't been iced with the lull that we have been experiencing. Oh, oh, oh. and uh, Pampanga should, uh, should uh, also understand that uh, this uh, inbound play na to is after a basket. So Encho Serrano can move along around to our uh, baseline to inbound that basketball. Right, because he can't move at the sideline. Oh, oh. So, pwede, pwede pa siyang gumalaw kasi bumalik lang naman tayo eh. What a game. Alright. The referees have made a decision. It looks like we're just gonna continue here. Again. Let's establish the circumstances. Oh, oh sayang, alam mo yun. They were, they're, they're on top of everything from the first 39 minutes. All right, official time is at 54 and a half seconds. We have one timeout remaining for each of our coaches. MJ Garcia trying to cross that ball. He goes to Alan Liwag. Oh, okay, press break there. Here's Enzo Serrano against Marwin Taiwan. A three-point lead for Pampanga. Two-man game up top. Encho met by Nico Panganiban. Six on the shot clock. Whistle blown. Dribbling violation on Encho Serrano. So now Coach Randy will call his last time out. It's a one-possession game. San Juan is down by three as they fight for survival in the fifth season of the MPBL with 35 seconds to go. with four fouls trying to cover Enzo. He passes to JLC. Three-pointer is good! This assist of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming.
Let's see that last turnover committed by Enzo Serrano. So he lifted the ball up. That caused the violation. Yeah, in that crossover from right to left. Okay, this one. Yeah, medyo matagal talaga. Medyo matagal talaga ni left ni uh, Enzo Serrano. So, let's see what, okay, what coach Randy designed after the, that timeout. Uh, game resets. Itong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Wala pa sa penalty. Still has, still has one foul to give. Timeouts remaining. Just one for Pampanga. Zero for San Juan. Sideline inbound for Orlan Lomar as he works with Adrian Noco, Michael Kalisaan, Marvin Taiwan, and Nico Panganiban. 14 on the shot clock, 35 on the game clock. Uh -oh. So let's see if uh, Adrian Noco will... Here he is. Yeah. Against Alan Liwag. Screen by Kalisaan. Noco, drive and kick. Panganiban for the tie. Off to the left, rebound, Baltazar. Balti will bring the ball down himself. Now the ball is with Encho. Should San Juan foul here? There you go. No more shot clock remained. And uh -oh. so Encho Serrano will now proceed to the line. It was a good one. It was a good play, putting that ball to Nico Panganiban's hand, who's been hot in this game. So Encho Serrano will be tested at the stripe. Encho, after starting off slow in this game, has come alive in the fourth quarter. He's two out of six from the stripe. Five out of 20 shooting from the field for Encho. What a long night. But it's never too late for him to rescue Pampanga. Oh, uh, you know, he's for the fourth quarter. His fourth quarter, uh, 10 points, four assists. Wow. So if you're going to total it, 18 points, uh, Mix. Four times two pa. Tama, tama. 18 points. But two you know, free throws made. One good thing that Pampanga did well here in the fourth, in the closeout, is to limit the San Juan Knights to just six fourth quarter points. And that's after scoring 22. Sorry, 24 of their own. Oh. An 18 point swing in the final frame. It's now a five point lead for Pampanga with 12.7 seconds to go. Let's see if San Juan can give us a miracle in these last seconds. And, uh, you know, I still have, I'm gonna give, still going to give it to San Juan. We know that they, be, they depleted na tong lineup na to. Wala ng players, puro injury na. Pero, still, they gave Pampanga, this Pampanga Giant Lanterns a run for their money. And this should be one of the best games that we've ever had in the history of the MPBL. Oh, oh and talking about comebacks. Alam mo yun, uh, they, they only tasted the lead. Tito lang sa fourth quarter. And that's after trailing by 19. Oh, oh. JLC also has come alive with two clutch three-pointers. He misses his first gimme, but it's no problem because it's a two-possession game in favor of Pampanga with four and a half seconds to go. And I think that was the game changer. That two... John Lloyd Clemente three-pointers really change the game. Last three here for Marwin. That's no good. And there you have it. The Pampanga Giant Lanterns will advance to the 2023 MPBL National Finals. What a game. What a game. They will also be crowned as your 2023 MPBL North Division champions. What a journey it has been for Pampanga, uh -oh. being the number one team all season long, only losing twice, and they remain undefeated in these playoffs. Tested on the road, down by 19, but they win it by six here in San Juan. Um, you know, I'm going to give it to the unsung heroes of this team. Na to. It was the bench, the depth nila ang nag step up. Uh, ito, talking about unsung heroes, MJ Garcia, Neil Tolentino, Neil Tolentino do sa ating first half, Allen Liwag, John Lloyd Clemente. So it's not just Encho Serrano in Balti Baltazar. Much like what happened in game number one, our best player was JB Bahio. Oh, oh. Really, and uh, JB Bahio really struggled in this game. But no worries for him because they are a deep team after all.
We'll take a look at some highlights. There you see the driving kick by Andrew Serrano, who had four assists in the fourth and final frame, totaling seven dimes in this matchup. Two going to John Loy Clemente for two clutch threes. And also, he came alive in terms of scoring, even though he shot the ball five out of 20 from the field, at least the five shots came at the perfect time. Oh, oh napakalaki, napakalaki, bag, napakalaki bagay, no? And, uh, you know, that's taking, that's all about, alam mo yun, Encho being Encho, taking over. So congratulations to Governor Coach Dennis Delta Pineda. First, by building a championship caliber of a squad representing Pampanga. Last year, they only had Archie Concepcion leading the way. But now, Archie is one of the stars alongside Balti Baltazar and Chiserano. Even Arwin Santos is on the roster for Pampanga. And they will await the victors between Bacoor and Batangas for our national finals. Now we turn you over to Mika Abisavis. Maraming salamat at kasama ko ngayon ang best player of this ball game na si Encho Serrano. Encho, aminin ko sa'yo, kahit ako akala ko babalik tayo sa Pampanga, no? lalo na nung down kayo by 19. Ikaw ba, nagkaroon ka kahit konting doubt? Um, yun nga, um, nung first half, sobrang sama. Nagsisisihan kami kasi ang pangit ng nilalaro namin. Kahit kami dalawa ni Balti, nag na kami sa loob. So kanina, nung pagtapos ng first half, sabi ko sa kanya, Tol, uh, magtiwala ka lang din sa akin. Magtiwala tayo sa isa't isa. Magtutulungan tayo dito. Lahat naman tayo gusto natin maganda yung laro natin. And yun, yung gov coach namin, uh, yun nga, binigyan niya kami ng payo na magtulungan kayo and iningin niya din sa amin. And syempre, nai-inspire din kami sa lahat ng mga kapampangan na pumunta pa dito. And yun, kaya siguro meron kami pinangugutan para makuha namin itong panalo na to. And so speaking of tulungan, alam naman natin na frontline ang lamang nyo sa San Juan. Pero ibibigay ko sa inyong dalawa, backcourt boys kayo ni MJ Garcia itong larong ito. Um, yun nga, basta sinabi ko naman kasi kay MJ na pag-open siya, tumira siya. Pag kaya niyang atakihin, huwag siya mag-hesitate. Um, kasi magaling naman talaga si MJ. So yun, sabi ko sa kanya, kumpiyansa lang siya. And yun nga, nagagawa niya naman yung best niya kanina. And so marami ka ng pinagdaanan na championships. Gano'ng kalapit to sa puso mo? Um, yun, um, siyempre, maraming salamat sa Panginoon. Um, sobrang pagod kasi hindi naman basta-basta to. Uh, Wait, thank you, boy! <laughs> siyempre, kundi rin sa pinagpaguran namin. Um, so, hindi pa kami nakukontento kasi meron pa kami ano, yung North-South na final. So, siguro pagandaan pa namin yun. Hindi pa, um, hindi pa, well, hindi pa kami tapos. Sino mga gustong mong batiin, Encho? Um, Siyempre, first, uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon na uh, binigay niya panalo sa amin. Papasalamat ako sa lahat ng kapampangan na sumuporta sa amin dito. Yung family ko, yung mga pinsan ko, and yung girlfriend ko na nandito ngayon, si Zayel Vitam, tsaka si <laughs> Bakalino family, si Kyle, si Bianca, and kay Sofia. <laughs> So, favorite na baby ko, si Bryl and, and si Joaquin and si Amara and sa lahat ng kababangan ay Coach Tutuy and kay Gob na walang sawang sumusuporta sa amin, laging andyan. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng sumuporta and sa pinsan ko, sa, and sa family ko, lahat, lahat. Kayo na yun. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Encho Serrano. At ngayon naman kasama ko ang pinakamasayang tao dito sa loob ng Phil Oil, Eco Oil ngayong gabi, si Governor Delta Pineda. Gov, una-una gusto ko batiin yung t-shirt mo na talaga namang deboto kayo ni Mama Mary. Ano? Gov, this was just a dream. But tonight, you have established your spot in the national finals. Gusto ko malaman ang kalooban nyo. Kung ano bang nasa loob nyo ngayong gabi, Gov? Uh, what a comeback. Sabi ko sa mga bata, huwag kayong gigib up, kakayanin natin to. Pag lumamang tayo, mag all the way to ating to. So, thank you, Lord. Sa... Ang dami, ang daming blessing. Grabe, hindi ko naisipin na makakabalik, pero wala. Ang dami nang malungkot. Pero still, hindi kami nag-give up. Yung blessing ni God, binigay pa rin sa amin. Kaya ito, para sa mga kapampangan, maraming salamat. Gov, ngayon ko lang kayo nakita na ganito ka-emotional. Pero ang tanong ko, siguradong pinaghahandaan nyo na ang National Final sa Brenzi Gia Convention Center. Excited na mga fans doon. Ano na po ba ang napagplanuhan nyo para doon, Gov? Wala pa kami. Sabi ko sa'yo, one game at a time kami. I-break ko muna itong mga bata para break ko lang ng two days. Tsaka kami magpo-focus kung paano game plan ang gagawin namin kung sino man nanalo sa South.
Gov, anong gusto mo sabihin sa lahat ng kapampangan na tuluyang sumusuporta sa Pampanga Giant Lanterns at sa Delta Camp, of course? Sa lahat po ng kapampangan na nandito ngayon! Oh! Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat po na nanonood sa amin. Maraming salamat po sa mga dasal na binigay ninyo para sa inyo po itong championship na to. Maraming salamat po, Governor Delta Pineda, Migs Coach Louie. Fantastic job by Mika Abisamis. Mika, make sure to recover now. Nabasa siya, ano, doon sa previous interview na yun. But we have four points to respond on. First off, with Governor Coach Dennis Delta Pineda, I want to start off by saying that to our viewers out there who notice Governor Coach Dennis Delta Pineda with his hand on his face during the game, he does that because he's holding the rosary and yeah. he actually kisses that rosary from time to time. A testament to how much love he has for Mama Mary and of course, him being a religious person. And now let's focus on Andrew Serrano. With Andrew Serrano, he described him as one of the ninjas of Pampanga. I have to mention that because the other ninja was supposed to be our best player of the game in MJ Garcia. Oh, oh and uh, you know, Andrew Serrano, the way he led ano, ito nga Pampanga Giant Panthers in that crucial fourth quarter run wherein uh, hindi yung 22 points eh yung six yung limitation nila to single digit mm -hmm. okay, for the San Juan Knights at their home court na alam natin na napakahirap kaya he, he talagang siya yung nag-lead para dito sa Giant Panthers para mag sa ganitong closeout na laro Amiga also asked Encho what the meaning of this championship run is for Encho Serrano and that was a nice question because in itself, representing Pampanga should be giving you so much emotions as you enter the national finals because there's so much pride at stake and you are representing so many people who are close to your heart. And so let's see what they can do against either Bacoor or Batangas come our championship series. So oh. There you have it. The second point for Encho, do you want to respond on that? With oh. him uh, representing Pampanga? Oh, naman. And uh, imagine, alam mo yun, nagbigyan siya ng, binigyan siya ng choice. Eh. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was given a choice na where to play, but he chose to play for his hometown. Right. And represent his hometown. Alam mo yun, ibinigay, ibinigay niya yung pabor dun sa tiwala at tulong na ginagawa sa kanila ng kanilang mahalin na, na governor na itong si Coach Gov Pineda. And lastly, about Enzo Serrano, he mentioned that like, away na sila ni Balti kanina. That in itself should be a testament that it's not easy. Having a championship run in the MPBL, you play for 10 months, your patience is going to be tested. And of course, a lot of basketball games will also put your back into the wall or against the wall. And this game, certainly, if you ask me, this should be one of the biggest leads or one of the biggest deficits faced by Pampanga all season long and they were able to recover. Oh, oh, talaga napakahirap ng ginawa nila ngayon na uh, make sure again, hindi biro yung uh, pinag-usapan natin to. Maybe this is the first time as well na naglaro sila sa home court ng kalaban nila. Yes. Alam mo yun na uh, ganito yung crowd, ganito yung, att yung gate attendance natin. It's not easy pero maganda dito na niwala lang naman sila doon sa sinasabi ni Coach Gove. Magtiwala kayo, magaling tayo, kaya natin yan, mas malaki tayo sa kanila. Tsagain nyo lang, makukuha natin yan. And it did happen. That's why they deserve the two days of rest this weekend for uh, the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. As for Senator Jingoy Estrada and the rest of the San Juan, San Juan Knights, you mentioned they also deserve a lot of credit. They were undermanned all season long. They got a lot of injuries. They were really definitely smaller than Balti Baltazar and company in this series. But boy, did they give us, or did they give us one heck of a battle. Oh, hats off to the uh, San Juan team. Na talagang, you know, you're gonna appreciate the, you're gonna appreciate your teamwork nila, tsaka yung fight within them, the, the organization as well. There you have it. Governor Coach Dennis Delta Pineda and the rest of Pampanga book a ticket to the 2023 MPBL National Finals. They are our North Division champions in the fifth campaign of our league, but it's not yet over. They're going to face either Bacoor or Batangas. And Coach Louie, we know it for a fact that those two are the two best defensive teams in the MPBL. Oh, it's going to be a, a, an exciting one. It's, you know, ang inisip lang muna naman nila, it was a destiny for them to be the, the North Division Finals because they know 
it's medyo mahi, mabigat talaga yung ating Northern Division. Especially yung ating defending champion kasama nila sa grupo. Yes. They were able to overcome that. Now they're the Northern Division Finals. So, let's see. It's gonna be a great matchup either Baco or Strikers or with the Batangas Embassy Chill. So, this it's gonna be an exciting National Finals match. The Papaga Giant Lanterns still haven't lost a game in the 2023 MPBL playoffs. They've only lost twice in this season. That's to Makati in Muntinlupa and against Batangas in Batangas. And so imagine if Batangas actually pulls off a comeback against Bacoor and they would bring that narrative to the finals that Tinalo nila ang Pampanga, there would actually be a revenge factor for Coach Dennis Jetta Pineda and company. Oh, that's an additional motivation. Tama. Sa sobrang lakas na nitong na team na to. Alam mo yun, talagang uh, no reason to relax. Alam mo yun, uh, kahearing ke Coach Gov Pineda, talagang uh, lock in siya. He really wants it. And uh, if you have a coach or a leader like that, yung mga players, susunod na lang yan. So that's the first scenario, Pampanga versus Batangas. How about Pampanga versus Bacoor? Speaking of locked in, that Bacoor program basically basically combined two franchises from last year in Bacoor plus Bacolod, forming a dynamic team of course, led by James Cuecute, Marky, and company. They actually demolished Batangas in game number one of their series. In your eyes or in your mind, do you think that game number one of Bacor was also a big testament on their part as to what they can do if they eventually advance to the national finals? Oh, uh, you know, picking at the right time. They're already picked, but they're still picking. Mm -hmm. Itong uh, Bacor strikers uh, basing yung kanilang performance yesterday. Now, if Bacoor Strikers will make it to the national finals, that will be a great matchup. <laughs> Alam mo yun, sa akin, magandang matchup to from number one player hanggang panglabing limang player. Tama. Two of the deepest teams, if not the two deepest teams in the oh. whole of the MPBL in uh, Bacoor versus Pampanga. But again, I'm sure Patangas has something to say about that. Now, for any scenario between those two, just so everybody knows, Pampanga will have home court advantage because yes. they're number one in the regular season. Game one of the national finals and game two will happen inside the Bren Ziegiao Convention Center. If we ever reach a game five as well, then we will go back to Pampanga. But games three and four will happen either in Bacoor or Batangas. Oh, oh so... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah, pretty much sums it up. Yeah, because even even us, we work hard for this. Alam mo yun, okay, watching all the games, alam mo yun, na-excite tayo na may mga teams na maganda yung nilalaro. Pero, okay, now, we're always, almost there sa finish line. Still, we get entertained by the games. Thing. Well, it's only gonna get better. If we think that tonight presented us one of the best crowds that we have ever witnessed in the history of the MPBL, then one can only imagine how the crowds will be in the national finals. Thank you for joining us in game number two for Sydney Crespo, Mika Abisamis, and Coach Louis Gonzalez. My name is Mix Gomez, and now we turn you over to our press conference. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to MP Belt Post Game Press Conference. And we're joined by Pampanga Head Coach Governor Delta Pineda and best player of the game, Angel Serrano. Um, coach, ano yung masasabi mo sa players mo na di talaga sumukong para makuha yung North Division Finals? And also, Coach, this is your, this is Team Pampanga's first appearance sa National Finals. Coach? So, ano, grabe. Grabe tong binigay sa amin ni Lord. At uh, alam niyo, kanina lumamang ng 22, 23 points. Hindi na rin namin alam. Pero sabi ko nga, huwag tayong susuko at uh, dumiki, digit lang natin. Ang nung before matapos ang halftime, nakadikit kami. Pagpasok ay ng dugout, guys. Huwag kayong gigib up. Pag lumamang tayo, atin na to. mag all the way to. So, nagpapasalamat ako sa mga bata. Even yung mga nasa loob, mga nasa labas. Lahat, buo yung puso, walang sumurender. Pati yung mga crowd namin. Lahat na nandito ngayon, walang, walang sumuko. Coach, yung perseverance ninyo sa National Finals. Masaya, masaya po kasi yung mga pinaghirapan po nito mga bata, pinaghirapan namin, nandito kami ngayon, ire-represent ire namin ng Luzon, at uh, yung saya, blessing, grabe po, grabe ang saya ngayon. So, 
Ayoko muna hong isipin kung sino yung makakalaban namin for national champion. Bigyan ko muna ng break to mga bata. Rest muna kami. At uh, focus kami ulit on kung sino mananalo makakatapat namin. Um, Encho, congrats. Uh, nakuha nyo na yung Divi uh, North Division Finals. Uh, ano pa ba yung kailangan ninyong gawin? Kasi marami pa kayong kailangan paghandaan for the national finals. Ano yung tingin mong... Um, siguro yung mga individuals namin na uh, kung ano yung maka ma matutulong namin bawat isa kailangan namin i-improve. So yun, um, hindi pa rin kami nakakampante kasi meron pa kaming laban. So kung ano yung mga dapat namin pa na ma-improve, gagawin namin para i-sacrifice talaga lahat. Kasi onting-onti na lang eh. Uh, makuku makukuha na namin. So hindi kami mag-give up. Yun nga yung sinasabi ni Coach Gob na huwag kami mag-give up. Um, every time na meron dumarating na mga pagsubok sa amin, magtulungan lang kami. So yun. Encho, ito, inamag-score mo ang buong San Juan ng fourth quarter, 11-6. So talk about, ano bang naging motivation para mag-take over sa fourth quarter? Um, actually, sobrang hirap eh kasi sobrang sama ng first half ko. Um, inisip ko lang kanina kasi nga, yun nga, nung first half, nag away, -away na kami kasi hindi ako nakakapag-deliver na maayos, hindi ako makapasa kay Balti. Tapos, yun, kinausap ko si Balti, sabi ko, bigyan niya akong pagkakataon na malid yung team namin kasi... Lahat naman kami gusto namin, manalo kami, tsaka maganda yung magawa namin. So, yun, nag-usap kami kanina nung after ng first half na magtiwala kami sa bawat isa and yun, magtulungan kami. So, ko lahat dyan, go, 25-6 fourth quarter. So, ano na naging... Ano na ano yung napag-usapan nyo nung before the fourth quarter? Kaya ano ano yung fourth quarter natin? 25-6. Naka-6 lang ba ang sandal? Hindi ko na nakita yun, ha? Pero na ano pang sabi yung fourth quarter kaya ano nangyari ito? Uh, actually ito tayo yung sinasabi ni Encho, medyo nung first quarter ano medyo gulo kami. So sabi ko nga, especially itong fourth quarter, tulungan muna tayo. So nagpalitan tayo sa ball screen between Liwag, Balti, Encho na. So same play with what we did with Kaloocan, with what we did in Marikina, ito yun. Kukulay lang kibalti kasi nga, nung, although yan, medyo di, maganda, di kaganda yung numbers, pero 7 assists. So set for, for center, 7 assists. Talk about letting Balti play the facility to this time. Ano ang stat ni Balti? 7 assists. 14 points and rebounds, 7 assists. Uh, how many rebounds? 19. Po points? 14 points, 19 rebounds, 7 assists. Talk about... Balti playing the facilitator this time, 7 assists. Sinabi, malinaw na usapan namin ni Balti before pa kami nagpunta rito na siguradong ang game plan na kay Balti. So, you need to trust your teammates. teammates. So, ayun naman, ay deliver naman niya. Uh, Sir IG, yeah. oh. Sir, ano yung masasabi natin sa performance ng team natin ngayon na mula doon sa pagkakalubok ng first quarter, ano? biglang nakabawi, nakabalikwas. Uh, ano yung unang reaksyon ninyo nung lumalaro sa first quarter at saka itong later, later youth part of the game? Uh, alam ko, uh, yung, siyempre, yung San Juan, luma, lumaban sila eh. Uh, so, ginawa lang namin ang best, ng, best namin na makabalik sa game. Throughout, la, lamang sila eh. 16, 7 and 6. Go, 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 go. Go, um, um, number one seed kayo sa North and wala pa kayong talo sa buong playoffs pa na sweep quarter final, semi final. How do you look forward sa national final sa, um, with a bigger or bigger pressure and challenge to win ito? Definitely a big pressure for us kasi first time kami nalaban ng national champion pero still, God blessing, more prayer from the Kapampangan. Tiwala ko sa mga kasama ko, sa mga players ko. I think magbibigay kami ng magandang laban. Hey, Gob. Uh, Gob, uh, yung first game ng National Finals will be Pampanga. Uh, ano yung expect ng mga kapampangan at saka itong mga apisyonado ng MPBF? Na-expect po ng kapampangan na maraming hindi makakapanood dahil sa puno ng gym nito. 
Grabe po to. Sigurado po nung puno po yung court natin. Na pag-aralan na po namin kung paano ma-maximize ang tao sa loob. Pero regarding sa kalaban namin, wala muna akong gustong pag-usapan. Break muna kami. At uh, manood muna kami kung anong labanan nila. Speaking of that, Roger, nga, napansin ko, yun nga, nagsabi mo sabi mo isang araw, magdadala kayo ng mga crowd dito. Yun nga. Home court advantage yung beauty dito. Two. Check one, two. Right.